<laughs> that was great. <laughs> I was fully involved. Oh, no kidding, man. <laughs> Just can't have a mayor that says these things. <laughs> it's it's unbelievable. I couldn't get enough. It was so fucking funny. You can't have a mayor that types, <laughs> oh, no. would you let me come on those perfect kicks? You just ah. can't. And we're shock jocks. Oh, we, we would, you know, yeah, the, the material we would get it, from Mayor fucking Danger. Right. Mayor Carlos it, it, Danger. It's easy to take uh, the angle, like, of course we want a mayor that yeah. talks like this, but you just can't have. You don't think people would be taken seriously <laughs> and work with him? Jesus. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. At least he picked a realistic sounding name Carlos Danger. Max Power. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony Carlos. Weiner is Carlos Danger. Yep. He certainly is. My God, he had a second chance. What the fuck's wrong with this guy? I think he'd society okay. gave him a second chance, which is so rare. He'd have been okay if if he had stopped and and this was just some shit from right. You know, the, a year ago, two, uh -huh. two years ago, whatever it was. Uh, but it well, turns out that this is new stuff. When when this broke once again on Twitter, yeah, uh, before the mainstream uh, news there. I'm like, oh, okay. They they finally got some some more old shit that popped up. Yeah, and then I'm like, what? Wait, what? He did this after he left Congress. After. What? And his wife is standing next to him at his press conference yesterday. And she was pregnant at the time that he went back uh, in with this shit, right? Jesus, she's looking up at him. He's fucking trying to look all contrite as she's oh, giving her Christ. speech about the fact that she loves him and believes in. Look, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't want to be part of a city where the mayor says things like, "Like I must have come thinking about you and looking at you one hundred times." How does that make you feel? Gross? Question <laughs> mark. I said I was hard. Help me. I, I just don't want a mayor that says things like that. And if you're if you're testing I mean, this stuff, you're you're not done. Right. You're not done. He's probably doing it right now. <laughs> By uh, the way, anyone who wants to wonders what sex addiction is, this is this it. This is it. He's addicted, right, Jimmy? Oh, but this is people are like, oh, it's not addiction. This guy blew his political career. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Six months later, he still couldn't stop he couldn't doing stop. it. He couldn't Six stop. Six months, he, he went right back in after oh. he left Congress, oh, it looks yeah. like. Oh, he's terrible. And then he's trying to say that he stopped in November. I don't, you know. Oh no, God. he didn't stop. There's, There's no, no way, way he stopped in November. People don't stop. No, this when is... when they're at this extent of, of no. I really want a mayor that says, standing behind you, lathering with one hand, fingering you with the other. I mean, <laughs> go up to Albany and get some uh, some funds for the city, please. Well, <laughs> you know what though? This is this. He makes a good point here. Yeah. God, I want to take you from behind in front of a mirror. I want to see your face and feel your pussy spasm as you come <laughs> with me deep in you. Can you imagine <laughs> Mayor Bloomberg or Mayor oh. Koch or... Hey, uh, God, I uh, want uh, to uh, take uh, you from behind. Uh, I want uh, to see uh, your face and uh, feel... Uh, your pussy your spasm as uh, <laughs> well, you come uh, with me uh, deep in you. Look, there's no goody two shoes in this room, but this is just right. this is ridiculous. You just can't have a mayor. You know what it is? That's it shows, addicted to sexting. It shows a lack of judgment, is what it is. And if you're right. you're a pol you want to be a politician, right? You know you can't show these lapses in judgment like this. Who cares what he does? I mean, more power to him. You want to fucking sex, send pictures, jack off. Right. Whatever. You're a dude. But, again, if you want to be a politician, <laughs> you can't. You don't have those freedoms anymore to where you can do this and, and leave unscathed. And he, Now, a shock jock, on the other hand. Right. You can do this all you want. And he just doesn't understand how the world works these days. Oh, yeah. You know, you... you oh, Jimmy. Oh, you, no. What? Which Jimmy's, one do you like? Jimmy? I don't like this one. You may want to be wet. He's huge for you today. <laughs> he's huge for you. He's a hack. Oh, oh he's, he's a, a sex thing hack. hack. The extreme. <laughs> oh, he's a sex thing hack. Oh, so God. I guess uh, to bring everyone up to speed, Anthony Weiner, who, uh, well, we were the ones that officially uh, sent the picture of oh, Warren right. out there. Yeah. Ruined him is the word you're looking for. <laughs> yeah. I think that was two years ago, right? Yeah. Two years yeah. ago. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, the picture was going to get out there, so yeah. I, I sleep well at night. It was just a matter of time. We just happened to be the ones yeah. that uh, went went for it. And then he went away, and then he comes back, and uh, he, he's doing pretty good in the polls as far as becoming the next mayor of New York City. He's doing all right. People uh -huh. are accepting him and accepting, you know, his past is his past. And then this shit hits yesterday. Yeah. And the New York Times and pretty much every paper is basically saying, get the fuck out of the race. Uh -huh. You creep. That's what they want to write on the cover. You creep. <laughs> Meet Carlos Danger is on the front page of uh, one of our papers. Today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, he's it terrible. is the worst fucking name he picked. The, the Daily News. Enough of all the lies and salacious revelations. Wiener is not fit to lead America's premier city. Beat it. Beat it. Get it? It's a jerk-off joke. He had this one. This is how dumb this guy is. He didn't realize he was being set up. He says, so you won't tell me what picture of me you like the most or turns you on the most. Only TV? And she says, specifically, your health care rants were a huge turn on. <laughs> oh, my God. God. He, he fell for what that. A dummy. Oh, no. <laughs> he I... fell for that shit. Oh, my God. He should have said, like, what are you talking about? You're right. Uh. So... There was a press conference yesterday. Should we play the press conference? Should we start there, maybe? A little bit. Oh, yeah, I think God. we should hear some of this. All of a sudden, there was a press conference, and then we got all the uh, all the sexting. This, His wife having this, to stand there. There's like 10 pages. Having to stand there. With the juicy stand. ones highlighted. Oh, yeah. Six months after, he is finished, man. Yeah, there's no way you come back no from way. this, right? No. Man, they, people never believe you again. They gave wife. you a chance too, man. That Holy fucking, fuck! Behind closed doors, that wife has got to be you, fucking idiot. She's gonna leave him You again. had a chance and you fucked this up because you, politics. huh? And she's in the politics, wife's yeah. in politics. So the wife is like, okay, I'm gonna attach myself to this. Yeah. Like it's not just a marriage; it's also a career move for her. Uh, now he's gone and fucked everything up. Right. What I kind of politics she does she do? This. She used to be like an aide for Hillary Clinton. Oh right. Yeah. Like she was like a real. Right. What, yeah. she was like a secretary or something? I don't know, some kind of aide. Did some fucking filing for Hillary? Yeah. But she thought she would have a political career, too. Well, some guys got these politicians. inside the plane. These politicians seem to be... Which one is that? That's inside the fucking... Uh, San Francisco? No, or LaGuardia. 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 Ah. Yeah. That was a piece of cake. Ah, I, I want to see inside the, the plane oh, that no. crash landed in uh, San Francisco. Politicians are creepy. Yeah, I think they're creepier than radio people. Yeah, it's the power. I really, thing. I really believe that. Yeah, the power Absolutely, thing. dude. Absolutely. There's a million of these guys. Yeah. Power thing. Yeah. Power thing. Everything. I mean, Carlos Danger has a power thing. He Carlos. does. <laughs> <laughs> Carlos Danger. That's humiliating. <laughs> it is humiliating. Why would you fucking come up with a name like uh. Carlos Danger? <laughs> Jesus. I can't even look at him. God, I, I would hit that so hard, your pussy would beg for mercy. 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 <laughs> Well, let's go to the press conference. So, breaking news, it says, Anthony Weiner, news conference on new sexting scandal. And I, like I said, I thought this was like some old shit that came up. Oh, no. But new. No. Oh, no. Here he is live, Anthony Weiner. He's at the podium. Give us a couple seconds. His wife's smiling. Uh, smiling. Do you know how degraded she feels? Attack the bed, right? Yeah. Look at the big smile. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the heads poking up from the cubicle behind him are the funniest part. Like what? Um, I have said that other texts and photos were likely to come out, uh, and today they have. As I've said in the past, these things that I did were wrong and hurtful to my wife and caused us to go through many challenges in our marriage that extended past my resignation from Congress. Ah, While some of the things past. that have been posted today are true and some are not, there is no question that what I did was wrong. This behavior is behind me. I've apologized to my wife, Huma, and I'm grateful that he has, she has worked through these issues. Pause, what? Uh, What's going on? Had a, hold on. What's going he's on? Carlos the jerk -o. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh, oh my God, he's he finished. loves jacking off. He's fucking <laughs> this, guy, this guy is a complete joke. Wow. Why is he downplaying in this news conference? Like he, I, I he's leaving, did this, uh... but he's leaving out the fact that this new one came after he left Congress. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. He said, which went beyond my resignation. So he. He tried to hint at it right there. Was this a year after, though, that's staying? Well, I think so. Yeah, this was last August, I think it was. Yeah. In July. A year. July. Yeah, a year. Yeah, last July. Maybe he thought after he left Congress. He had nothing to like, lose. He's well, like, I fuck that, it. So I right. just don't sex. All right, might as, well, my, uh, might as well continue sexting. I have nothing to lose. I, I lost my gig. Right, it was and, one or the other. And he has nothing else to do. He's probably bored. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> like, the work. All of a sudden, he starts realizing, oh, my God, I could actually make a comeback. Oh, shit. <laughs> Did some things. So, well, no, that stuff probably won't man. come up. Oh, fuck. I hope they don't come up. Your, your rent on health care got me wet. <laughs> what an idiot this guy is. Well, you really should have went, huh? What? Right. Uh, but he's yeah, an egomaniac. Yeah. He assumed that, you know, people really enjoyed his health care rants. <laughs> Whose pussy got wet hearing him yell about health care? <laughs> oh. Right? Is that a sexy subject? <laughs> oh, your cancer rant made me come. What? <laughs> What Your health care rant especially, she said. Oh, my God. He's thinking, luckily, I used the name Carlos Danger, so this won't come back to me. <laughs> no, I, yeah, no one will know. <laughs> yeah. Carlos Danger? <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? Tied up all the loose ends with that one. Oh, yeah. He's, he's smarter than we are. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Carlos, Carlos Danger? Danger. Carlos, Carlos Danger. Danger. Carlos Danger. He's an international man of mystery. That really is. Danger. Uh, anyway, right. let's go back to the press conference. <laughs> or forgiveness. I want to again say how very sorry I am to anyone who has received the receiving end of these messages uh. and the disruption that this has caused. And my wife, as I have said, my wife and I, as I've said, are moving forward together. Um, to some degree, with 49 days left until primary day, um, perhaps I'm surprised that more things didn't come out sooner. Uh, I'm responsible for this behavior that led us to be in this place, um, but in many ways things are not that much different than they were yesterday. Oh, yes, they this are. The behavior that I did was problematic, to say the least, destructive, to say the most, caused many uh, stresses and strains in my marriage, but I'm pleased and blessed that she has given me a second chance. For the past several months, I've been asking New Yorkers to also give me another chance to show them that I had a vision for the middle class and those struggling to make it, and that I wanted to move forward. Um, right into her vagina. Yeah, and then back and then move yeah. forward again. Chapter in my life to be curious about it, and I'm going to be there and try to answer those questions as best I can. Um, it is also perfectly understandable that all of you are doing your job. Being here in these great numbers, and I'm sure it's not just because of the mayor of forum we're going to have in a few minutes. Um, but all that being said, let me I just reiterate stuck around for the mayoral um, forum. My wife, how sorry I am that I, oh, I did these things, up. and um, how sorry I am to uh, the people that got these messages for any uh, inconvenience or he's lying. Of caused. course he is. Um, now some have asked the question: Where does this fit in? Some timeline, some timeline of the continuum of the resignation. Uh, Look, the, the resignation was not a point in time that was nearly as important to my wife and me as the challenges in our marriage and the challenges of the oh things that my done, God. Uh, um, and working through them. Uh, um, some of these things happened before my resignation, some of them happened after, but oh, the fact is that, is that was also the time that my wife and I were working through some things in our marriage. Oh. I'm glad these things are behind us. I know that this oh, is a not. very public thing that we had happened to us, um, but by no means does it change the fundamentals of my my feelings here, and that is that I like I, jerking uh, off. Want yeah, to bring fun. my vision to the people of the city of New York. I hope they are willing to still continue to give me a second chance, and I hope third they chance now, that you in dummy. Many ways, um, what happened today was something that, frankly, had happened before, but it doesn't represent all that much. Oh. 
that is new. And now I have a chance to do something I haven't had a chance to do. Um, Fuck my wife. On the campaign yet. <laughs> Uma, as you know, has been out there with me recently, Uma. and uh, she had a few words that she wanted to say. So, um, my amazing wife, Uma Abedin. Uh, amazing wife. Yeah. Amazing wife. Well, if she was amazing. Jeez. Yeah, my lousy sexting wife. Right. My wife who writes LOL every time I write cock or fuck. Right. My <laughs> wife who's obviously a horrible lay. Uh, <sighs> Oh. Jesus. But you know what? In a weird way, this is what we get. The, the people like the apology. It's it's been proven yeah. to work. He right. should be humiliated to say this. Oh my God, he should be in hiding. But, well, uh, we well, this was it. early yesterday, so I mean, yeah. Look at the papers. He's humiliated. I think he's surprised it made the front page. <laughs> 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 he's hoping to get buried. I didn't hear what Uma had to say. What did Uma? <laughs> Hi. Good evening. She's oh. smiling. Um. As many of you who oh. have followed this campaign now, nice. uh, I've spent a good deal out on the campaign trail um, at churches and <laughs> street fairs. Oh, she doesn't know what parades. to say. Um, Mention more things. Yeah. So this is the first time I've spoken at a press conference, and um, you'll have to bear with me because I'm very nervous. <laughs> and I wrote down what I wanted to say. Look at Anthony when you're laughing. <laughs> I jerk off. <laughs> when we faced this publicly two years ago, it was the beginning of a time in our marriage that was very difficult. And it took us a very long time to get through it. Our marriage, like many others, has like had its many ups others. and its downs. You know, we all like being it with our husband that jerks off. <laughs> and a whole lot of therapy to get to a place where I could forgive Anthony. It was not an easy choice in any way. Oh. But I made the decision that oh. it was worth staying in She's this marriage. empowered. I made the decision. That was a decision I made for me, for our son, son. and for our family. I didn't know how it would work out. But I did know that I wanted to give it a try. Anthony's made some horrible mistakes. Oh. Both before Ow. the from Congress That's her and fault. after. But I do very strongly believe that that is between us and our, our marriage. Well, not anymore. In every paper. We discussed all of this before Anthony decided he would run for mayor. So really what I want to say is I love him. I have forgiven him. I believe in him. Oh. And as we have said from the beginning, we are moving forward. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Oh, boy. She is beautiful, man. She's really fucking hot. Yes. Now what happens? Does he take questions? Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. No prank questions got through, unfortunately. <clears throat> but uh, do they ask about this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, this oh, okay. would be the topic of conversation. No. Well, <laughs> how would you best uh, relieve the traffic problems yeah. in our fair city? Mr. Danger. Mr. Danger. Mr. Danger. Mr. Danger. <laughs> danger. Candidate Danger. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Candidate Danger. Yes. <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> and he responds to it. Candidate Danger. Yes. Danger. Carlos Danger. <laughs> danger. Oh, my God. Carlos Pick that name. Danger. This is so ridiculous. All right, let's, uh, you want to hear him uh, answer a few questions uh, about I it? I certainly do. Okay. Let's take one or two questions. One, one or two. Did your wife find out that there were messages after the resignation? Oh. She knew all all along no, she um, didn't. this process as I was more and more honest with her. Um, <laughs> more more her <laughs> Could you pause um, that? So that she, is so telling. He goes, she was aware of this all along and then realized, no, not all along, the right. process. And then uh, 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 as we worked through this and I became more and more honest with her. No, as she dug up more shit. And you had to fucking fess up to it. As she continued to go, what the fuck is this? You don't become more and more honest. You become less and less deceptive because you're caught. Mm -hmm. You know, a year in, 
A year after the scandal, she must have said, are you still fucking doing this? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. exactly. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, we talked about that. No, yeah, honey, of course I'm still doing this. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, oh I, I thought when... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. I thought with her you didn't want oh, me to do it. Right. Oh, 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 you mean with anybody? Oh, <laughs> see, I thought... I, see, uh, uh, see, I thought if I changed my name... Yes. Oh. I, honey, I thought you knew that's why I resigned. <laughs> yeah. I thought we talked about that. Yeah. That I could still do this. See, we need to communicate better. <laughs> right. I Obviously, there's a communication yes, problem here. Yes. This is pretty much just, this is just as much on you as it is right. on me. Right. See, frankly. see, Anthony Weiner stopped. Yeah. Yeah. But Carlos Danger. Carlos Danger still <laughs> needs to. <laughs> Ah, uh, there's some coming in Carlos Danger and In Your Ass Only. <laughs> A view of my cock. Brown finger. Brown finger. He's the man. The man with the smelly touch. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> oh, man. More and more honest. This guy's a clown. He's a clown. <laughs> he is a clown. He just is trying to look for loopholes where he could still jerk off. Yeah. He's just a clown. Well, I'm going to hear him answer a few questions. Thunderballs. <laughs> this is something we knew um, going into the decision about whether I would run. What is that question? Is this over? Are you, are you in touch with any women right now? Uh, this, Why this is... This is entirely behind me. It was when uh, we decided to, when I decided to get in, and we had this conversation. That is why, if you remember, in the early days of the campaign, people were pressing me for, "Is there more out there?" And I said, "Yes." So I, I said that I said that there was, and so but when were they so to made? Degree, this was something that's that we the thing. We didn't ask when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ask that See, question. You asked. I said. There might be more out there. Mm. I didn't say it might be from last week. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I got a question. Uh huh. Anthony Weiner, worse than Bobo for falling for online scams. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> just, no. I just want to throw that out there. Oh, question. No. That's a question today. They'll write a Carlos Danger. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> Why can't I be Carlos Danger? I, I, uh, this girl likes me. She likes my speech. <laughs> she wasn't going to tell anybody. <laughs> yeah. go to the, let's go to the Mets game. I'm Carlos Danger, right? <laughs> With my sidekick, Mr. Baludigan. He's a schdoodle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god this is uh, why um, satellite radio was invented because we get to yeah. read these things uncensored, uncensored in a minute or two that's here. the only way god, but first wonderful. more of the press conference oh. just acknowledge that we that we knew might come up and we decided that look this was something that we had worked through together something I put behind us and something we wanted to uh, to keep behind us but as I've said it's in our rear view mirror but it's not far we still work every day at our <laughs> How do you explain that one? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is this. I said there were more uh. things out there. There were. This is, you have as a fixed time the resignation as the important moment in the public discussion. That was Pause. when the public got a glimpse. And what is he, a time traveler? Someone has to say this. <laughs> when he said there's more out there, it was around the time he was stepping down. Yeah. So everyone could accept that part of it. Right. But he did it after that. That's the problem everyone has here. See, he, months later. He, he's time traveling there, trying to say the stuff I did after I resigned is what I kind of told you was, you know, uh, uh, was a possibility was out there. What's yeah. he talking about? He said it again after, I think, that when he came back, I think he said, oh, there's more out. I See, think he said it again when he came back. This is the, this is the problem. You don't need... Y y ah. Just play it. I, I was trying to figure out what? his timeline. He, he says he's he when he said initially back, he's he trying said, to be clever and vague. Yes, where yes. where look, I told you there was more right. out there, but he didn't really 
<laughs> yeah. He, he initially said there's going to be more of this. Right. There's more out there. Right. And then when he ran for mayor, he said, now remember, there's more out there. But he had made more in between yeah, Right. He two. made more is the, is the problem. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. That's a better way to put it. He's he not, made more. He made more. But he's trying to say, no, you know, no, there's more that, out there. It's that residual <laughs> stuff. Right, right. Residual, right. He yeah. wants people to kind of think it was residual, like, right. oh, that, that old thing. <laughs> Holy fuck, I hate this. I, I don't like this guy. Yeah, he's a real arrogant scumbag. He is an arrogant right? scumbag. Yeah, because he, yeah. he thinks he's smarter than everybody else. Yeah, that's oh, what yeah. it is, Jimmy. Because yeah. no, no one's perfect. I mean, yeah. please. But, but he's, well, there's something about this guy that's really Sam hateable Roberts. now. Mm -hmm. I don't, yeah, I don't care about his sex thing. It's, it's this shit that I hate him for. Right. His arrogance about it. Yeah, Carlos Danger, I get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just can't get fucking... That's the part that I'm probably fine with. Cunt. Who knows what his wife is like? Maybe she's a lame fucking texture. Maybe he tries to be dirty with her and she gives him nothing. Mm, Hillary maybe. doesn't... I'm busy with Hillary. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm shaving down her cankles. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> she has to shave Hillary's cankles oh, with a fucking God. razor. Uh, what a great job to have. <laughs> into something that we have been working on before, during, and since. And this behavior of mine was part of that. And when we, we went through this process and we became closer and worked through, through some of these challenges, challenges. This, we put it behind us, and I put it behind me. And frankly, we're in a lot better place today, or else I, I would not have run for mayor. Remember um, I can't. I, I can't uh, say exactly. Uh, yes, you can. Sometime last summer, I think. Was it after you I think. Wait, wait. What was the answer? What was like, the question? When, when was the last one you sent? I think he's like. I, I, I can't say. Sometime last summer, I think. No, yeah, which but, is not true. Of course it's not. <laughs> what a fucking asshole! How could it be? You, what do you mean? I think you would know at this point. When was the last time? Right, uh, probably about two weeks uh, before the scandal broke. That right. would have been the acceptable right, right. answer. Uh -huh. He goes, I th he throws I think in there because he knows that there's more. Yeah, he and he's just praying that I they don't pop up either. I, uh, I think. You can't just throw I think in. You would know yeah. specifically when, oh, yeah. when it ended, if it ended at all. Yeah, when did you start getting the shakes from not fucking sexting? Oh, man. He loves it. Yeah. Oh, boy, does he love talking about his... Cock. He's he's, uh, he's addicted. Yeah. Period. Dick. I completely understand this guy. I get it. It's like, I mean, so many people do. It's not hard to understand yeah. how you get caught in this. I just can't then run from mayor. Yeah, Sorry. Just, exactly. Just admit Sorry. that. Look, maybe it's but not Jimmy, the right you time. nailed it. It's the arrogance the about arrogance. the whole fucking thing. You're right. Yeah. You're right. A, he's standing up there like we're all dumb. Like right. You're right. Like, ugh, oh, he's almost annoyed he has to do his press conference. Look, I told you, <laughs> I told you there might be more out there. Yeah, I thought I explained myself. Oh. Yeah, hey. I well, think, what? he throws an I think out there. What are these questions there? for? I thought right. I spelled Jesus. everything out perfectly Yeah, for everybody here. Do you think Spitzer's happy about this, though? Because it takes the heat off him. Like, hey, I stopped. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got two no guys. More, no more whores in my fucking yeah. uh, past. I Find didn't... another prostitute. Yeah, Find go one. ahead. I dare you. Oh, but you know, he's jonesing. Oh, yeah, Behind well. closed doors, he shakes himself to sleep every night, jonesing about it. He's just jerking off to <laughs> pics of that girl in the New York Post. Right? Oh, yeah. Ashley Dupree. Yeah, he loves her. I bet his wife was really cunty this week, too. As soon as Wiener's thing, I bet mean, his wife was, so what have you been up to? Not Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Uh, she's oh. been a cunt on wheels all week. <laughs> Imagine that. It's Ray Mancini on Fox. Huh? Uh, Ray Mancini there on Fox. He, he gave was, us a great interview great. yesterday. He's terrific. He was wonderful. I hope he comes yeah. back. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the wife, Spitzer's wife. Sylvia <laughs> or Sylvia. Yeah, uh, Silda. Oh, Silda. Silda. See? See? You want this to happen to you? He's like, I didn't even do anything. <laughs> this fucking wiener has to do this shit, and now the wife gets on me? And, and people don't pay close attention. A lot of people do, but there's oh, a whole... Like that think they Spitzer. probably are thinking this is a Spitzer thing that popped yeah, up again. Yeah. You know, you hear what Spitzer did? <laughs> right. Uh, Spitzer's like, no, <laughs> well, not me. It's, it's the other, me. I it's was the, the other guy. guy. <laughs> right, not the sexting guy. <laughs> not the sexting. Spitzer's commercials come on. I can't believe they're letting him run out. Just what? saw him on the news talking about sexting. His poor wife. No. Let's no. go back to this arrogant asshole. Oh yeah. Jimmy nailed it. That's what the problem is here. Oh yeah. <laughs> 
Yes. yes. Now, Malcolm calls you to drop out of the race. What do you say to those people who want you to drop out of the race? I'm sure many of my opponents would like me to drop out of the race. That isn't an answer. <laughs> definitive moment here for you. Um, you said some things were true online. Some things weren't true. Can you tell us what was not true? No, I think I said in my statement one of the things I'm no, not going to No, I can't tell you what's not true because there's nothing that's not true. Yeah, and I'm not sure what else is going to surface. So uh, yes. let it all surface, and then we'll try to figure it out. <laughs> go ahead and ask a couple questions. I won't answer them, but yeah, you yeah, can yeah, go yeah. ahead and ask away. Yeah, ask away. I'm not going to say shit. Later, I'll say, I let you ask your questions. Yes. I came up here of my phone free will. And instead of when they said, like, what do you say to your opponents who want you to drop out of the race? He basically goes, well, I'm awesome. So, of course, they want me to drop yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Instead uh, of, I'm sure plenty of my opponents want me to drop out. No, I, we didn't ask you that. Yeah. We asked, what do you say to the people that want you to drop out? I rule. I am fucking amazing. Challenges behind us. Challenges, Challenges. behind us. Me and my wife face these challenges. They're behind us now from two days ago. <laughs> yes. <laughs> By behind us, I mean my phone's in my back pocket. <laughs> oh, Anthony. That would be great if you just heard bling, his fucking text going off in his pocket. He's like, oh, shit. All right, let's, uh, let's get to the end of this press conference from yesterday. And I said it to your newspaper, as I'm not going to get into a back and forth with people who are releasing things, whether they be true or not. Uh, people have a right to say deniability they want, of everything. I brought that upon myself. Um, I am, I'm prepared not to dispute anything that is out there, but suffice it to say that people are out there saying things that that are that I, I that are 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 not true. But what else is out there? But that's not the point. <laughs> what that's else the point. is out there? Can we hear pause. that fucking poignant oh, shouted that's question? Great. <laughs> I studied uh, body language a little bit. <clears throat> this guy is looking down. This guy is a lying piece of shit. You think so? Yes. That's a huge yeah. tell when you can't look uh, look at the person asking you a question. When you start looking down like that, that's that's a basic one, to be honest with you. That's just basic body language shit. <laughs> Do you think he's wishing this didn't happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, sure. But fucking just... Go away. Yeah. Go do something else. Write a book. Write a whatever. <laughs> Anthony Weiner. I love jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> I love jacking off. There's there's obviously a lot of oh. stuff out there. Could you hear that question? How that was shout? That was so perfectly timed and shouted. Right. What else is out there? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and he's like, oh, geez, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> but suffice it to say that people are out there saying things that that are that I, I that are 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 not true. But what else is out there? there? But that's not the point. That's not the point. I accept the responsibility for having these conversations with these people who I never met, with exchanging inappropriate things in the context of, of our marriage, and that was a mistake. And I bear responsibility. So he's for looking that. up again. That is behind me, and we're trying to move forward. And we are recognized. It's not going to be easy. You better recognize. We knew the moment we got into this race that it wasn't going to be easy, but I believe this is an important thing to be doing. Thank you all very much. <laughs> I'm going to go in the back now and get screamed at again. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> you fucking owe me big time. You condescending cocksucker. Yeah. Yeah, She. I bet she leaves him. This After. is just... After uh, fucking she's, resigned, you she's did in that this. world, man. I don't, who knows? She'll let this play out, and then she'll fuck it. Although Hillary stay with Bill. Some, some, that's why it's hard to feel bad for these political wives, because they stick around because that's the fucking... They signed up for this. It's a power thing. Yeah. It helps their career. But it's, uh, what kind of career does she really have? She f does filing or something? I think she's trying to build one. Build yeah. one. And she just got onto the wrong horse. Good luck. Did she? Oh, my God. <sighs> So, uh, oh, man. Danger right. 33, I guess, huh? D-A-N-G-R 33. Nice. <laughs> we should just read all of them. Fuck it. They are uh, Two, quite amazing. Three, four, five. This is like ten pages. Oh, there's some good ones. You guys should act them out. Fuck yeah. Not you, Chip. <laughs> should we use uh, one of our interns? Oh, Jesus. God, yes. Uh, I don't know if we can. It's a Why news not? story. It's a fucking bitch yeah, to read need, on the air. We need a female voice, to be honest with you. Where's Jack Hay? Where's Sid Jack Sid Hay. See who wants to do this. Her Sydney. Where's Jackie Blue? Hello, Sydney. 
And Jack Hay. Jack Hay. We need a female voice. For yeah, real. Otherwise, it doesn't sound. Yeah. And they're really sexy male no. voice. From in that studio in there. Jack. <laughs> what kind of Jack sexy you, male Could you read some sexing shit for us? Sure. 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 You could say no. No, that's fine. Because I don't know where the line is with this shit. It's on air, but. How many summery sundresses do you have? Um, here probably only like five or six. Really? Yeah. This one has pockets, though. Oh, cool. <laughs> so it's, oh, cool. So it's awesome. It's awesome. It's cool. <laughs> what dress has pockets in it? Yeah. Right? If anybody What's else wrong came with in pockets, here, Sam? If anybody else, if any other intern ever came in and told Anthony, look, I have pockets, <laughs> do you think his response would be, oh, cool? <laughs> no. What? I'm, you don't I, like pockets? I turned it to wrong Anthony Weiner when the interns were <laughs> around. I can't help it. Sam's a communist. You don't like pockets? I don't yeah. mind pockets. I have fuck? Po hey, Ann, I have pockets in my pants. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> what e what e Absolutely. E All right, show Jackie her pocketage. Um, you, I mean, you can say there. no to this shit. No, it's fine. Jackie, you're, right. gonna, you're gonna read here. You're gonna. I'll hold it for you. You're gonna read the parts that are that are um, highlighted. No, 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 no. That's oh, please. underneath it. Underneath. Yeah, if yeah, you're you're the part that'd be highlighted. Be like girls I've talked to. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Daddy. <laughs> you're underneath for this okay. reading. Do I start? No, no. The, uh, well, I no. I mean, no, no, no. Of course not. Yell. No, yeah. of course not. Don't yell at the little trying deer. Trying to understand <laughs> yes. her lines the here. The little deer is trying to understand. <laughs> I, she's saying. doing us a favor here. You know, what? you guys are right. You're absolutely right, and oh, I apologize. <laughs> so who's gonna? Who's gonna? Um, what are they? What the fuck? Oh, sorry. Fox and oh, Friends, they're, they're lifting weights on the sidewalk. They're what are they outside doing today? on the sidewalk. Why aren't they kettlebells. talking about Anthony Weiner? Kettlebells. Wouldn't you blow off everything and just talk about Anthony Weiner? All day. They're doing a kettle. Yeah, kettlebell workout. When I worked out on the sidewalk. When I was walking in outside the Fox building, they were miking up a guy dressed up as a Revolutionary War. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was looking like a um, hear English ye, guy. Hear here ye, you hear you guy like for the that. baby, for the royal baby. Maybe that's what it was. I passed him by because my 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 truck. I, I stop at a light right there when I'm coming in, and I just pray for the day they flip the camera on while I'm there because uh, I will ru I will ruin them. <laughs> I, will, I will roll that window down a, and say stuff. But you're a gatekeeper for Fox. You can't. Do that. Oh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in the inner circle. You can't do that. Uh, it's going to ruin it. Uh, All right, let's get into this. So Anthony Weiner as uh, Carlos Danger. Well, who's playing yeah. Carlos Danger? Who is going to play Carlos Danger? It could be E-Rock. It could be Chip. It could be anybody in the studio that you think is appropriate. Mm. I don't even know if it needs to be a Chip because it's so good. As well, Jim won't do it because the Jim will enjoy it too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. E-Rock? No, I'm good, thanks. Oh. oh. Yeah, I don't know if I want to play the part either. Who wants to play uh, the part mm -hmm. of Carlos Danger? I'm trying to think how this would work. Kenny. Or Sal. Kenny, right? <laughs> oh, God. Kenny's a married man, and he might have to hear a lot of flack about it. Uh -huh. He may not want to do it. Mm -hmm. We could ask him. GH, I'm celebrating 25 <laughs> wonderful years. <laughs> I don't talk that way. <laughs> Uh, shit. Kenny, would you play Carlos Danger? <laughs> Carlos Dulger. <laughs> He's putting on his reading glasses, so he might be in. I'm, I'm an entertainer. It has nothing to do with my personal life. Oh, oh, okay. oh, oh shit. shit. Good for right. Kenny. I mean, Carlos Danger. Mm -hmm. do, you need, do you need a script? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So playing the part of Carlos uh, Danger, which obviously is the alias for Anthony Weiner, yes, will be club sort of candy. Oh, into the mark, uh, Mike CD. And who, uh, what do we know about the gal? Where is she from? How She's old from is Chicago. she? From Chicago. He was kind of promising her a condo. She's 22. Uh, um, I don't know how he met her. Probably mm. online, Facebook or whatever. Well, she's pretty hot. Yeah, she's pretty. I'm happy that they showed a real face, though, because if you're going to out public figures like this, fuck you. You don't deserve privacy. Well, it was uh, a website not. that figured Buzz it out. Feed. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't like the news going, oh, let's just. Well, she's in the paper, on. though. Yeah. Oh, after BuzzFeed the fact. got her. Okay. Yep. Wait, yep. how did this come about? I don't know. Come I'm not on. sure. I know BuzzFeed, they're saying the ones who showed her picture, probably because they support Wiener. Yeah. But um, I don't know how these came out. But how did they get together? Who, her and him? Oh, I don't know. Probably Facebook, I think. Oh. So what? He had a fake Facebook page? Probably a real one. 
Holy oh, fuck. Man. Yeah, where did Carlos <laughs> Dane? It'll all come out where Carlos Dane. Wait, we don't know uh, yet, yeah. though? Do we? I don't. I, I haven't know. heard where where it came yeah, from. I All think... I know is I did I did Red Eye the other night, and one of the people I did Red Eye with was that uh, the actress. Um, oh God, what the fuck? She was very nice. You took a picture with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We we hold on. I'm I'm saying this for a reason. Mm -hmm. uh, court. Oh no, it's not her. Cocksucker. Cocksucker. No, 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 no. Oh. That's who she was talking to. Oh, okay. <laughs> I um, can't believe nobody on here is fucking popping it up. Mm. You're fucking Barrett. Right. Barrett uh, Swatek. Oh. She's on MTV. She, whatever. So uh, this is, I got a text from her last night. Oh. We missed Carlos Danger by one fucking day. Yeah. Right. And I'm like, who is that? Oh, I didn't know no. who it was. She wrote my dad. Uh, and, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, hours later, I, I saw Travis's news thing. That I'm like, yeah. holy fuck. Unbelievable. We missed it by a day. Now people are suggesting that we bring in uh, good old uh, Denny for oh. <laughs> for the Carlos Danger part. He would never read it. He doesn't yeah, work. He would. He's yeah, a professional. He doesn't work blue. He's, he he you weren't even, here the day he refused to. He doesn't even curse. Nope. But if, to read something like this, a news story on Saturday Radio, Denny might. I'm betting he will not do it. I'm with that. I'm betting he will not. Do I don't it. think you were here the day that he basically told us he doesn't work blue. Oh, I do. I remember that. Were I don't you here? Work blue. I, yeah, I remember hating him for that. Oh, you were right. here. That's yes. right. Yes. I do. Yes. Yes. I yes. stared yes. to my yes. right and fought the urge to bite him. <laughs> <laughs> now they're just bite his elbows. Now they're just lifting weights on the sidewalk. What's wrong with Fox and Friends? Yeah. Wow. They got a huge audience though. You Whoa. see that jumping up there in the back on those boxes? That is a motherfucker. Just that jumping up and down yeah. sucks. Mm -hmm. I hate jumping. Oh, she's pretty uh, cute right oh, there. Oh, she's a delight. Squatting. We got eggs, too. Should we take a break and figure out the whole uh, reading of this? this oh, I see Denny shaking his head. Like, no, oh, no. really? He's like, no, no, no. He has no. a head like Wiener. His head uh, is shaped uh, like uh, Anthony uh, Wiener. There he is. Den <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's got entrance music. How are you doing, Denny? How are you? Hi, Hi Denny. Hello. We might need you. Okay. Uh, in a couple of minutes, we're going to need you to read something. Fine. You would read uh, Carlos Danger? Whatever you need. Wow. Yeah, that is a professional. What happened? I thought you don't work blue. Well, as long as there's no blue language in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you can just work around it. Will you say cum? Sure. As a beverage. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would say it as a song title, like Come to Me by Fran Jolie. <laughs> Great what? disco hit from 1979. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. What well, other cum songs do you know? What's that? What other come songs? Uh, come Baby Come by K7. Good sure. dance record. Mm -hmm. good come Baby Come, Baby Baby Come. That's a good dance Come on, record. Eileen. Come on, Eileen. Very sure. Good. Well, you know what that means, though, right? What's that? You know what that means, right? Come on, Eileen. Come on, Eileen. I guess it would. Kenny, well, why don't we do <laughs> Do you want to let Denny start and just see how far he can sure. go with it? Like, can, right. Kenny, can you let him do it just in, and you're the reserve, just in case Denny is sure. not as effective? And Denny, you want to just use Kenny's mic so that young Jackie can read her part? And, sure. I, I, <laughs> Don't oh, go far, oh, Kenny. Oh, <laughs> this is all for the good of the show, right? Absolutely. It's yes. all for the show. Yes, Danny. You're you're Always. the yellow highlighted part. You're you're Carlos and Jackie is playing the other gal. Carlos Danger, who is Anthony Weiner. Okay. Yes. So you start off, Danny. I must have come thinking about you and looking at you one hundred times. How does that make you feel? Gross? That turns me on so much. Seriously. I said it was hard. Help me. <laughs> Almost home. Be patient. So I walk into a hotel room, and there you are at the end of the bed, naked, except for some amazing beep-beep shoes. Beep-beep <laughs> shoes? Beep-beep shoes. <laughs> That's my favorite line. Your I legs know, are right? spread. Your feet are flat on the ground. You're leaning slightly forward, looking completely in charge, by golly. <laughs> you know, we could always make that fantasy a reality. Do you want me to continue? Because it's not highlighted here. <laughs> it's not highlighted, yes. it's highlighted here. It's just the best. <laughs> yeah, that was just to kind of let you know who, you, what part you are. Beep, beep, shoes. Beep, beep, shoes. Of course, the word was fuck me, shoes. Ah. Denny. Oh. Yeah, continue, even though yeah, it's not highlighted. you got to read it, Denny. It's part of, it's, this is a news story. And what do I get? We'll see. Can I tell you what I thought about last night that made me come? Please do. Still holding your hair, I spread your legs. Your beep beeps are swinging already as you wiggle. I take out my beep and I lean over and whisper, What do you want me to do to you? 
Yuck. That's just awful. That's horrible. Beep, Danny, it's beep. satellite radio. What's a beep beep? It's a yeah, but, I don't, but I don't work blue. This but is that's an not, extreme channel. We're not working blue. This is a news story. This is a news story. This is like legitimate news. This, right. is, this is what the, the yeah, mayoral but, but candidate said. News channels do, uh, they don't say those words. Oh. Uh, they would beep them out. On satellite, they wouldn't. Uh, no, we can't. We, we don't, what do we I have? I don't know we have if Fox, I want the beep Fox beep. No, beep beep is awful. I hate beep beep. I do too. It's like she's it's the Roadrunner is trying to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. Beep, beep. <laughs> I think Danny that, failed that us might today. Be funny. Well, I I don't work blue. I th I, you, you know don't that. Work blue. Coming in here, you know that. Well, <laughs> coming in here, you know that. Coming in here, come that on is, now. <laughs> well, I hope Kenny was fucking just hanging in by. I mean, we might need Kenny. Yeah, yeah. I, I think Kenny is better suited for this role. Yeah, but this was your big opportunity. Yeah, you Danny, know, you really I'm, did. I'm happy with my other opportunities that you've given me, and I thank you every day for that. Or, what other cum songs do you know? Uh, let me see. Got to go with Come Together, obviously. That's, right, the, that's right, probably right. the number one cum song of probably. all time. Sure, sure. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Come, come, come a little bit closer. Jay and the Americans. <laughs> Jay and the Americans. Yeah, come, come see closer. about me. Diana Ross of the Supremes. Mm-hmm. I believe we've covered the amount of. No, I'm sure there's here. quite a few more. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure. Come as you are. Yes, yeah, very good. Nirvana. Nirvana. All oh, right. Nirvana. Very good. That's I came on my leg. Uh, Jim Norton. <laughs> <laughs> the artist. Jim Norton. <laughs> I'll have to dig those up on the hard drive of hits. Ah, yes. <laughs> All right, Danny, you failed us. Uh, thank oh. you. I'm sorry. No, beep, that was beep. terrific. Yeah, you got but you guys have a beep, great time beep. in Canada. You got your standards. You oh. were flying today to Montreal, Canada. Very nice. For a couple days. Mm -hmm. yeah. Crank up some Guess Who on the way, right? A little Guess Who. Canadian rock and roll. Brian Adams. <laughs> Yes, right. I'm going to watch Family Ties. And Murray, the Canadian songbird. Oh, you are a beep head. <laughs> you really are. The Canadian songbird. Oh, oh you <laughs> suck a bag of beeps. <laughs> <laughs> you like the Canadian songbird? I love Anne Murray. What sure. was Anne Murray's big no song? No one loves Anne Murray. Snowbird, you needed me. Can you I have this dance? Me. Everything I want the world to be is coming through for it. Right, very nice. Very, nice, very nice. You need not a yes. cloud in the sky. Got my ass in. And could I have this dance? 1980 hit music, well. a big song popularized in the uh, movie Urban Cowboy. A lot of people use that as a first dance. Just in case you're looking for first dance suggestions. <laughs> no, we're not. We're not. We'd like a little Anne Murray though. An hour into the bit. I didn't hear the song. <laughs> oh, oh no, where were you? Anthony was singing. Where were you? Song, uh, Snowbird. Yeah, and you needed me. You needed me. Could I have the stance? Yeah. What's he doing? Asking. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Where's E Rock? Is he in there? Oh no! Oh, Danny, oh, I couldn't see him. Nice no, no, no. I, I couldn't see him through the through the glass on the glare on the glass. That's all. It's impossible. <sighs> all right, Danny. I guess we're not. Oh. There we go. A little snowbird. <laughs> the timing's everything. All right. <laughs> Even though we try to chill things up in this heat wave of the summertime, what happened to the music? Sort of dropped out. But Ann Murray steps up to the mic and has a little snowbird. Oh, no, no, back. Uh. <laughs> oh, this is. The Canadian songbird. This sounds, a, this sounds very Glenn Campbell. Yeah, I'll give you that, yeah. It's like Gentle on My Mind. Very nice. Good song. I used to love the Glenn Campbell show. Oh, who didn't? Hi, I'm Glenn Campbell. It's knowing that your door is a, yeah. Now it's, hey, you're Glenn Campbell. Really? Yeah. Who? Oh, what? Well, what you told Lyman by the time I get to Phoenix? Ah, yes. Remember Phonics, that reading program? Hooked on Phonics worked for me. By the time I get to Phonics, I'll be reading. You used to say that when you used to do the commercials. Holy shit. Yeah, how about yeah. that one? How about it? That was a good how one. How about that? Southern, you also had Southern Nights. Southern Nights. Uh, Meow. Yep, and he had Rhinestone Cowboy, which was a huge mm. Very good, very good. That was a good one. Oh, like a Rhinestone oh, Cowboy. Well, we mm. got to go to break, Danny. Thank you. All for, right, guys. Well, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, having standards, I guess. Yeah, always good seeing you. Sarah, Sarah from Buffalo on Twitter. Beep, beep, shoes. Maybe one of the greatest lines I've ever heard. <laughs> After the break, uh, Jackie and uh, Kenny will be reading oh. the Anthony Weiner slash Carlos yeah. Danger uh, sexting uh, text messages, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. Right. All right. We should uh, get into the sexting. Oh, yeah. Anthony Weiner as Carlos uh, Danger. Ah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Danger. 
Cut. We're going to start from the top Dude. because Denny did a horrendous job oh, reading this. just terrible. Because he doesn't work blue. No, so you're saying beep when he, uh, the, the bad language was there. Her beep beep shoes. Her beep beep shoes. Her beeps were swinging. <laughs> right. Uh, were they? What does that mean? I don't know. But he was saying cum, every other word. Yeah, right. yeah, And yeah. it was spelled C-U-M, so right. he was saying it in, in the term that it's meant to be. Sure. Used. He doesn't understand. No, he doesn't know anything. He's <laughs> got his hard drive of hits. It's yeah. all like, I think yeah. misspelled cum here. <laughs> 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 all right, so uh, here we go. This is uh, the conversation he had with a young lady, all Anthony right. Weiner, as Carlos Danger. We start young lady from Chicago. Yes. With uh, Anthony Weiner's uh, part. Yes, played by Kenny. Club Soda Kenny. Oh, <laughs> Club Soda Kenny. Yeah, the entertainer. On Facebook. Right. On Kenny. Facebook, it's Club Soda <laughs> Kenny. <laughs> I must have come thinking about you and looking at you a hundred times. How does that make you feel? Gross? That turns me on so much. Seriously. I said I was hard. Help me. Almost home. Be patient. So I walk into a hotel room, and you were at the end of the bed naked, except for some amazing fuck-me shoes. <laughs> your legs are spread, your feet are flat on the ground, and you are leaning slightly forward, looking completely in charge. You know, we could always make that fantasy a reality. No, you, no, no, no. Yeah, keep reading. Even oh, you don't want me just to... No. Oh, just, just so we have the whole conversation. Okay. Yeah. And what do I get? We'll see. Can I tell you what I thought about last night that made me come? Please do. <laughs> Beating a skull's head in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's some purple wood shampoo. <laughs> Putting shoe leather on a guy's teeth. <laughs> this, is the, this is the worst reading ever. He's yelling it. It's menacing. And, and then oh, Jackie's really got that is. Rochester accent. Ja but Jackie's, uh, oh I will say, I give Jackie's rendition of, uh, out of 10, I, I give it a fucking 9 5. Out of oh, 10. Yeah. Okay. Phenomenal rendition. She's all in. Yeah. yeah. It's just the accent that's a little, a little strange. Yeah. We'll say she was from Rochester instead yeah. of Chicago. All right. Yeah. No, yeah. That's right. The it's like the same accent, anyway. actually. You know, she's probably, probably pretty annoying. close. Hey, <laughs> come on annoying. home over there. Be careful. Yeah. <laughs> careful. I want you to fuck me like Dennis Farina. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a little nasally. Yeah. But the Rochester yeah. gals have that. Oh, I'm all wet down there like a deep dish pizza. <laughs> <laughs> all right, page two. Here we go. I slide my car. Where, where are you? Wait, oh. What? Look at the thing. Yeah, it, it says, says one, one, two, three, three. four. Oh. Going up. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Give me your brat worst. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm sorry, Kenny. Yeah, go ahead, Kenny. I slide my cock in you <laughs> slow at first. You are so tight. And then harder, my balls slapping your ass. With each thrust, you squeal a little. I start to fuck you so hard, your tits almost hit you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking wrote that. How terrible. That is awful he's sexting. A, he's a sexting hack. He's the worst. You know no. how hard you have to picture fucking somebody and, they're, they're, and their tits are smashing them in the <laughs> smashing face. Smashing them in the face. How you're just... unsexy that is. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, those are big tits. <laughs> Yeah, they're A cups. <laughs> that's the that's how hard he wants yeah, to fuck yeah. her. <laughs> I want to fuck you till your A cups are hitting oh, your forehead. Jesus. All right. You reach back and spread your ass. I want to make this happen as soon as possible. I walk right up to you and bend down, grab the back of your hair, and put my tongue deep in your mouth. You grab my cock, still holding your hair and still kissing you. I stand you up. You're making me so wet. I want this to happen. Still holding your hair, now standing, I take my other hand and finger your pussy. It's wet, <laughs> soaked. I turn you around and bend you over the back of a chair, your pussy asking for it. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> Fuck me, baby. Still holding your hair, I spread your leg. Your tits are swinging already as you wiggle. I take out my cock and I lean over and whisper, What do you want me to do to you? Ravage me. Would you like me to hold your hair while you're gagging on my cock? Jesus. <laughs> I can't be the mayor. <laughs> Absolutely. Would you let me come on those perfect tits? I would let you come anywhere you wanted. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Staring me at pictures. Too. Pictures. <laughs> oh, he's the worst. Ditto. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you. <ya. laughs> I want to come in you right after Master zaps me with electricity and gives me life. <laughs> I want to throw a small girl down the well. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm going to come on you as soon as the villagers stop chasing me with torches. <laughs> oh, <fuck>. I <laughs> continue. Not pathetic at all. So flattering. I think about you all the time. I can't help myself. If I met you in a bar and tried to talk to you, would I have a chance? Absolutely. You're such an amazing man. I still can't believe someone like you would pay attention to someone like me. It's literally a dream come true. You are a fantasy to me. Have you made yourself come thinking about me recently? God. <laughs> this morning. You are a walking fantasy. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to just be a fantasy. I want to take care of your every need. Why are you awake? What are you thinking about today? How do you look? <laughs> I don't sleep a lot. Obviously, I'm thinking about you, and I've been doing some painting today. Right now, I have no makeup on, and I'm topless. I'm deeply flawed. <laughs> <laughs> No, That's read the your... script. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you say on your business card. <laughs> Close to the Kenny, and I'm deeply flawed. I'm deeply flawed. <laughs> we all are. Imperfection is beauty, and madness is genius. God, I want to take you from behind in front of a mirror. I want to see your face and feel your pussy spasm as I come with me deep in you. <laughs> you have no idea how much I want this to be more than a fantasy. I've never wanted anyone as much as I want you. You're perfect. I make me insane. More. I'm going to come again so hard. <laughs> Trying to upload a pic, but my phone is being slow. Try to be patient. I like to whisper in your ear while I make love to you. That okay? <laughs> that, that okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't maintain an erection unless the Rodney King video is showing in the background. <laughs> More than okay. Just the idea of it turns me on so much. I want to connect with you on every level. Standing behind you. Lathering with one hand, fingering you with the other. Baby, you make me so wet. I want you to slowly enter me while passionately kissing me. Taking a shower. Want to join me? <laughs> that sounds perfect. <laughs> I wish you would have sent that text in 1942. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Uh. <laughs> You may want to be wet. He's huge for you today. Oh, he? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you he rocks showering with him? <laughs> <laughs> you always make me wet. All of me? Absolutely. Hmm? Wet? Put on some shoes. I would spread your ass so my cock hits deep. <laughs> Why would you put on shoes? I put on shoes. <laughs> put on shoes. <laughs> 
I want Put you. on some shoes. I want to fuck you while we watch Stop and Frisks in the subway. <laughs> <laughs> Put your dancing shoes on. <laughs> And I'll wear the black ones that Master put on me. <laughs> I want you as deep inside me as you possibly can get. What are you wearing? Much for me to take off? I'd hold you by your throat. I'm wearing a skirt and no panties. Easy access for you. God, I would hit that so hard. Your pussy would beg for mercy, <laughs> much like the listener's ears are. <laughs> <laughs> much like many people I just pulled over for a traffic ticket. <laughs> I would hit your pussy like it was a there was a billy club between my legs. <laughs> I want to hit you right in the perp. <laughs> I want you to pin me over my desk right now. Like what you see? Oh, what? 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 Like what you see? Oh. I, so I was like, <laughs> like what you see? <laughs> I'm like trying to figure out what yeah. that line was. Mm, come on, you! I will. <laughs> he texted like what you see. So obviously he's sending pictures during this whole thing. Like what you see? Very much so. I was attracted to you way before all that happened. I don't know the last word. Yeah, it's covered up by the dirty dot com. Probably all that happened before this. Some of that. Yeah, yeah. sure. I found the perfect woman, gorgeous, sexy, and a little bit of my crazy. I basically worship the ground you walk on. You are incredible. So you won't tell me what picture of me you would like the most or turned you on the most. Specific. Wait, what is going on? <laughs> you missed the last part. Yeah, what is it? Only TV. Oh. I, I didn't understand. Yeah, read it again. Only TV. Yeah, that's a key word. Yeah, read it again. Okay. So you want me? So you won't tell me what picture of me you liked the most or turned you on the most? Only TV? Specifically, your health care rants were a huge turn. Oh, my <laughs> God. Health care a... rants. Oh, what an Those idiot. Those are sexy. Sadly, my pics are out there to look at. Have you ever? <laughs> yes, and I must say I'm quite impressed. Oh, Jesus. Tell me about your pussy. <laughs> Smooth? <laughs> <laughs> Very. <laughs> Tell me about your pussy. Uh, how humiliating. Oh, oh God. Jesus. And he fucking bought into it. I like your health care, right? And he still went. So he can't even deny that it's him. Right. Oh, what a dope. <laughs> I was reading your tweets and looking at your pics, so I thought I'd hold your wrist to settle you down. You have no idea how turned on I am right now. I really want you to manhandle me. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's it, huh? Wow. More will come out. That's it for now. This is great, though. This this is literally wow. like opening up a fucking new DVD box set. You know, more oh, episodes you know, are yeah, right behind there's it. There's sure. more. There's more. There are not. Don't this is worry. not the end of it. No. They wouldn't put wow. it out there in one day, right? They probably no. would spread it out a little bit. Now, I would like Jackie and Kenny to read a text exchange that I had recently oh, with the young no. lady. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie, could you make your voice a lot deeper? <laughs> Hello. Hello, buddy. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> good job, Kenny. Thank yeah, you. very good, Kenny. Very good. Very sexy. Very powerful. Yes. Yeah. Kenny yeah, is very he's powerful. He's amazing. Hold your wrists. <laughs> Your pussy. <laughs> your p <laughs> and of course, uh, the lovely Jackie. Uh, very good. Bang up, Thank you. bang up job Marvelous right there. Job. Thank you. That Terrific. was very good. With your little Mary Tyler Moore hat. My dress with pockets. Yes, and your little summery dress with pockets. Oh, cool. She's just adorable. There she goes, Jackie. Gonna, what, what interns are we going to get next? Because we well, might we as well don't. just stop the intern program. <laughs> we got to just get girl interns now. Yeah. Now that we set the precedent, Sam. More smelly, greasy guys fucking coming Ooh, Travis, in. Travis, we got oh. anything new? 
no, no, no new wieners. Oh, boo. Laundry day, Travis? Oh, yeah, the Gerardo Travel. thing. Travel. Travel day, okay. That's your Wobot shirt. <laughs> Does he say the thing that we were talking about this morning? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, good. Yeah, that's where it came from. Okay, good. Oh. Yeah. So, Geraldo, I guess we can move on to Geraldo. Oh, I'm, so, no. I'm sure we'll get back to Anthony Weiner. This is all just fucking disgusting. <laughs> it's exhausting. It really is. So, Geraldo. It's older people with their cell phones who don't realize the implications that it's yes, forever. It's forever and it's all ever, everywhere. Ever, ever. And it goes everywhere. So Geraldo uh, did the selfie over the weekend to show everyone that 70 looks good. He said 70 is the new, new 50. 50. <laughs> oh, look out. So he was rocking it in front of the mirror with fucking barely covering his dick and well, balls that, with a towel. Everything else was showing except just his dick and that's balls. That's what bothers me the most about his selfie, because he thought about the towel placement yeah, for a while yeah, and decided, okay, if I, if I keep it this low. He says it was it's strategically placed. Oh, he does say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, of course it is. So uh, yeah. I didn't even know Geraldo had a radio show. Yeah, Where yes. is his radio yeah, show? to me. I don't know. I think it's like online. Oh, some kind of like uh, podcast thing or something. On, on and he website. has to shave down. Like, yeah, sure. it would be a big disaster of fucking hair there. Some, well, look at the mustache. You got to assume yeah, that yeah. he's got great he hair. Grow a lot of fucking oh, hair, this God, guy. God, right? So Geraldo explains the selfie Ugh. photo on his radio show while on the phone with Elliot Spitzer. Oh. Elliot Spitzer doesn't want to deal with this shit. Yeah, he kind of keeps quiet. Of course oh, he does. You're not going to hear anything from him. And TV personality Eric uh, Bowling, who's he? Do we know him? I don't know, but he's the one that kind of, uh, he falls over started, a lot. Started this. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh it's, it's this dude. What's his name? Oh, Eric. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. he was in the from, gutter. Oh, oh. He's from the, the Five on <laughs> the Fox. Five, yeah. The Five? Yeah. The Five. Yeah. From the Five. So, uh, Eric, what, what did you think when you when you saw it, and you, you, do you think I still have a job? I, I think you still have a job, I'm guessing. Um, I, well, here's what I thought. I tweeted immediately, uh, what the dot, 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 question mark, and then why, question mark, question mark. Danny? Um, <laughs> beep, beep, look, beep. Geraldo, uh, I mean, of all the people you should know better, I mean, it would be you. Look what, look at this. Look what's going on with Anthony Weiner. You, you know everything about what's going on with Anthony Weiner. What were you thinking, my man? You're a friend. What were you thinking? Remember, I stayed above my private parts with my. <laughs> you did. I had a strategically Barely. placed uh, towel there. But, uh, you know, uh, Governor Elliot Spitzer wait, wait, speaks wait, of hubris. The governor speaks of hubris. Hubris is when you make when you make you churn life for boredom or for uh, ambition, or you just can't stand to. Have things uh, organized and quiet, and you you kind of you create a tumult uh, in your in your life, and and I think that there I was two thirty in the morning, on on Sunday morning, and you know I do the show Saturday night. I did a great show on uh, you know uh, black on black crime and race relations and the Trayvon Martin mm -hmm. fallout and no federal charges and <laughs> no things cares. going on these crimes in Boston. <laughs> And, uh, you know, the death of a witness in the FBI custody. So I did that show. And I get there and I get home and I'm all, and there's no one to talk to. Everyone's asleep and you just sit around. I, I had a, a drink and then I was, uh, you know, I had taken that picture Saturday morning and I was looking at it, just going through it. And I, I said, you know, I got to, I got to tweet this thing. I, I, I oh. look pretty good for a 70 year old. And I think because I'm so old, people will cut me some slack, uh, you know, that uh, they won't, they won't take it too seriously. And I don't know, I just push the trigger. And then once you push the trigger, it's <laughs> there for life. Wow. It's there for life. Uh, I don't have any problem with it. Just not at all. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. You just picture him sitting there. Right. Ah, if you drink, ah, fuck <laughs> it. I bet I could get some pussy by putting this yeah. picture out. Fuck it. So he was just kind of mm -hmm. hanging out. With his rose-colored glasses. Yeah, he probably thought a bunch of people were going to comment on how nice his body was. Yeah. And he didn't realize, because he was drunk. Yes. He didn't realize. It's one of those ideas you have at night, and then you wake up in the morning, and that's when you realize it's a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he actually did it. I thank God I don't drink in the age of cell phones oh and Twitter. Oh, my God. <laughs> what the fuck? It's only a cock. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> fucking has one. Uh, 
I can imagine. <laughs> Holy, look at oh, Jimmy's eyes rolling. God. Yeah. Oh, it would be a problem. Dude, I would. I can't imagine the things that would be going out of my Twitter. <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, how close is is he to the top of his fucking penis there? Really close. Like real close, right? Yeah, That's yeah, what's yeah. weird about this the picture. Well he wanted to really show he up. He really every likes that bit. V yeah. of his, huh? Every bit of it. You gotta have the point in the V or it's not a V, so you really gotta move that towel down. Plus he knows the girls like that. That's just such a tease. Like, ooh, all I wanna do is rip that towel oh, down. Oh god. Is he married these days? I know he like that shit comes and goes with him, I think. Yeah, I don't he think... was a pussy hound at one point. Yeah, no right? kidding, man. Fuck everyone. Yeah, I don't you think just he lose is. muscle mass at that age. <laughs> like, look at his shoulders and stuff and his <laughs> arms. It's like, it doesn't matter what you do. But he's 70. I mean, that's what I mean, but, you know. Uh, all right. But if you turn around, his ass would be completely exposed. That's how low the towel is. Oh. For you and your fantasies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you see that asshole. <laughs> he's got hair on his. It, sa it says he's married. It says he's been married since 2003. Yeah. Why wasn't his wife hanging around? Why was he so lonely mm. that he had to take photos of his? They were sleeping. Dick. He said it. They were sleeping. Geraldo was, <laughs> was lonely. He was lonely. Damn. Well, man, this is the first hour and a half of this show exists. Exhausted me. It's exhausting. Between uh, the Anthony Weiner and Carlos I Danger know. and the Geraldo thing and the readings. My dick hasn't gone down once yet. <laughs> you got to wonder what politicians in the past uh, would have tripped over their own dicks on cell phones and everything. Kennedys probably would have done something. Oh, my God. He <laughs> would have been all over probably. the Kennedys. Send me a picture of your cunt, Mimi. Oh, immediately. <laughs> Mimi <laughs> Beardsley. Dearest Mimi. <laughs> Uh, Even uh, Clinton. Yeah. Imagine if Clinton had a cell phone. Yeah, yeah. What, what? I think he sent one email when he was in the White House. That's right. Yeah, Only one email. Yeah. There's a cock pic. Yes, this big <laughs> cock pic. What was the one email he sent? I want oh, to bang you so hard <laughs> that your tits smack off your face. <laughs> <laughs> he was smart enough, though, although he did come on that dress. And even smart people get caught up in this shit. Right. Wiener's mm -hmm. a smart guy, but man, when you, you're fucking pumping your dick, brains don't mean anything. No. They're calling A-Rod in the paper today the, the most hated person in, in yeah. baseball. Yeah, absolutely. He's, he is a piece of shit. <laughs> the well, Yankee organization can't even fake it anymore that they, they don't hate this guy. Like, they, I love when they, they put out statements and they might take a jab at him, and then they're like, no, we appreciate everything Alex has done for the team, and we're uh, he's a part of the Yankee family. Now they don't even fucking. Because he's a give choke a shit. artist and a, a selfish dick. I fear no reprisals. <laughs> Seinfeld. Yeah. God, what I knew. When he was dragging around the fucking World <laughs> Series. <laughs> trophy. <laughs> just doesn't seem like a nice guy. He seems like an arrogant oh. twat who chokes. If he was fucking Mr. October, Reggie Jackson, oh, the Reg at Jackson. least fucking hit home runs in October. This mm. bag of shit grounds into a double play whenever you need him in the eighth inning. Yeah. He stinks. Fuck him. And they're Fuck hit. him. They're talking maybe a fucking lifetime <laughs> ban from the game. Well, I think what's oh, happening man. is that's going to happen because yeah. the sports guys all know, like they have inside sources, and they're. Uh -huh. I think everyone's surprised it hasn't happened yet. Yeah, they're just sitting there going, "Hello, this is happening. We all know it. So when are they going to pull the trigger on it? Maybe by the end of the week. Mm -hmm. He'll get a lifetime ban from baseball. That'd be great. That's fucking. That's <laughs> He's a harsh. dirty Seattle Mariner. He always will be. <laughs> Fuck him and Edgar Martinez and Jay Buhner. Who? Who? Yes, I'm a Mariner. I've been oh. fired. <laughs> wow. He really got into that one. <laughs> and fucking all Randy Johnson and uh, that whole... Randy Johnson. That whole fucking shitty Yankee... You like the Mariners, huh? Hate those motherfucking <laughs> 90s Mariners murdered the Yankees. Yeah. Every West Coast yeah. trip, the fucking Yankees would go 2-8. and eight. Yeah. They'd be fighting it for first with Boston. They'd be fucking two and eight. They'd come back six games out of first. I want the whole West Coast to fucking fall into the ocean. Oh, I hated it. Cunt Mariners. Uh. Oh, that Randy Johnson is a fucking bag of shit. Oh, he, well, he stopped and uh, took a picture with you. No, he didn't. Oh, that's fucking right. Fucking lurch. <laughs> 
Yeah. Bill, Bill Madden in the Daily News today, sports writer, he, uh, his headline, most hated player ever. They're no, starting to call not, him. Not more than Ty Cobb. He's not hated more than Ty Cobb was. Uh, they threw shit on the field. And they're all hinting. Major League Baseball is juiced to get rid of A-Rod for good. They all know that is happening, but they just don't yeah. know when for whatever reason. But they're coming after him. It's always, and this is the picture you always get it of a rod that smirk mm. of. Mm. It's amazing. You look at someone like Jeter, who fucking you know, no controversy, fucking all around good guy, charitable, fucking amazing player. Yeah. And then <laughs> he's beloved. Yeah. He's beloved. Mar and and then Mariano you get. Rivera. Oh, yeah, yeah, Rivera. yeah. The Mo. Crowds in Boston were giving him a standing ovation yep. over the weekend because, what? you know, yeah, because he's retiring. And, yeah, and he's amazing. And everybody's showing him the respect that he does. I hate the Yankees, but there's no possible way you can't respect him as the greatest closer of all no, time. No, I'm not following baseball this year. Like, he comes back from the injury. Is he having a good season? I don't even know. Ooh. Rivera. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, he's as yeah. dominant as ever. Isn't that amazing? It's Because he was ready to leave, and then he gets that horrendous injury, yeah. and he said, fuck, I can't leave this he's way. He's as good as he's ever been. Wow, really? Maybe yeah. he stays another year. Who he the won't. fuck knows? No, he's done. Why? He's done. Be because he's, he's, he's done. I, he done. just wanted to come back and show. He wanted yeah, to go he, out he in his own terms. He didn't want to retire terms. on an injury. Right, right. You know? like he's that was a bad injury, about, man. Yeah, I mean, it cost him the season. Do you think he will uh, be in the Hall of Fame? I don't know, maybe. He retires later? Uh... Yeah, yeah, but actually. technically it's already retired. Oh, 42, yeah. right, Jackie. Yeah, yeah. Shit. <laughs> Last one. But the mm. Yankees fans are done with the rock too? Everybody is done with every, it for years. Yeah, for years. Everyone's done people, with the rock People hung in there for a while with A-Rod, though. I hope he doesn't get banned. I hope the Yankees have to pay every penny. Of that oh, contract. really? Yeah. No. Yeah, you know what? I don't mind that either. Even though I was, you know, fuck him for making that terrible move. Lifetime yeah. ban, what happens to his contract? I don't know. I, I don't know how these how these deals work. I'm yeah. sure there's some kind of clause in there yeah. where if you fuck up like that, you're out. Absolutely. Breach. Breach. Or a clause like Aaron Hernandez when they cut him. It's got to be if you're arrested for a, a fucking homicide and charged, <laughs> yeah. we don't have to pay you. There's some yeah. kind of morals clause. You're sitting in prison getting fucking million-dollar checks yeah. from <laughs> your, your team. That's got to piss off the boys in the joint. <laughs> yeah. Still getting paid, holy Very fuck. Very popular at the commissary. Right. Yeah. Do you ever just be grateful that, like, no matter how bad you've done things, where you, like, you haven't fucked up your life like that? Oh. Like, when you look at these guys who are in prison blowing $40 million, like, you dumb motherfucker. Oof. What is what Over is, nonsense. Yeah, what is that about with Aaron Hernandez? It's nonsense. He's Utter a nonsense. fucking thug. Yeah, yeah he is a thug. He's just a fucking thug who bamboozled everybody into thinking he was a... Football yeah, I player. I don't think playing football, you know, like just makes him not a thug anymore. So what you're saying yeah. is you can take that? Yeah, no, we. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Uh, is that what I sound like? <laughs> oh, I'm a traveler. My yeah. horrible. Oh, okay. So you're talking about me. Oh, just, oh. I mistook. Why don't we take a break? We got Joe Rogan coming in today. Calling. Oh, Rogan's calling, calling, calling. I'm sorry. I was calling, say, calling. That's fuck. right. I, I knocked. Joe Rogan out. I don't like the malls right now. It's really a little over the top and too much. <laughs> <laughs> you think so? You think it's his hook and you don't like it? Oh, it's his hook. <laughs> it's his gimmick. <laughs> We're also flying to Montreal today. Yes. We're going to be live in uh, Montreal tomorrow and Friday. Monty. Uh, pretty excited about it. It's going to work. It's going to be great. Mm hmm. Um, and oh. we haven't done one of these sh full show fucking field trips in uh, in a, a while. Year, at least it's fucking Chicago cool. was the last one, right? Yeah, right. That's yeah. about a year ago. Yeah. And then um, the ONA podcast is available today, right? The new one. Yeah. We're, episode eleven. We're up to. Please subscribe to the oh. Opie and Anthony podcast. Podcast, and, and we forgot about uh, this bit that we're featuring this week. What's the whole? Super Bowl saga. Super Bowl, right? The Super Bowl. We had a bunch of guys come in and just beat the shit out of their their fucking testicles, right? Basically, <laughs> oh, and fit. then and then it ends with bees. Wasn't that oh. Tracy's last appearance? Yes. yes. And the one thing you're going to hear on this podcast, I got to explain the end of the podcast. I think it's a perfect ending, by the way. <laughs> but in the old days, we used to be shut off by a master computer, and that day it worked out perfectly. All right. But that's why it ends how it ends. Remember? Because we actually ran out of time. They had a master fucking computer that uh, at whatever time, they like 9.58, switch and switches off. It didn't matter what we were doing. Right. 
And we got it in just in time, and people were like, holy fuck, what, what a great ending. The countdown. Doodle -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, yeah. What was the countdown noise? Oh, Sorry. yeah. Was, well, Sorry. we used to do yeah. Mario Brothers and other shit. And then what's the Opie and Anthony nugget? Well, I guess we keep that as a surprise. Uh, <laughs> no, it never Just flew out of Jimmy's ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, fucking... Where do they get oh. the podcast? What's the easiest way? iTunes. IT, you just go to Facebook. Yeah, but every day I get anything. people going, how do I get the podcast? I don't understand these people. It's you so can't easy. figure out how to get a podcast now? I don't know how people don't figure out how to do anything. It's, it's, <laughs> it's fucking online. Right. It's a fucking Google it. Opie and Anthony. Where is this? Where do you find that? Right. Who is that guy? I just want to talk to you. Yeah. I think is that so. what that is? That's all uh, it is. They want to talk to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, problem? Uh, what happened, Jimmy? Nothing, nothing at all. It's nothing to do with what Sam's wearing. Oh, what? You don't like oh. his Canadian pants? He's dressing for Canada today. Those fucking sockless shoes are mm. enraging. Let me I say. thought you liked socks, Sam. What happened? Show Not if you're wearing boat shoes. Show Boat, boat shoes. shoes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Fuck. Holy shit, you got Ugh. huge feet. You really do. Hello, fellas. All the better to mm, yeah, pop a quarter off those ankles. <laughs> sure. Are those These shoes coming back? Ankles. <laughs> I don't know. I'm bringing it back. The boat shoes coming back? You they, should. They were, <laughs> 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 they were popular when we were growing up. <laughs> <laughs> coming up, Ed Balls. Who's Ed Balls? Ed Balls is coming up on Ed, Ed Balls. <laughs> is that his name? I'm Ed Balls. Coming up, Ed Balls. It's Carlos Dane. Danger's cousin. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Ed Balls. Yeah, he's like Bill Pekka. I don't think Anthony Weiner's a fool. No. He's a fucking man. He's not a fool no, at all. He's a Mac yeah. Daddy. He, he's not taking <laughs> yeah. any guff. No. no. He doesn't care if it's fucking Rosh Hashanah. He's going to yell at some Jews. <laughs> yeah. Well, the he Jew kind of made a comment about his uh, Arab did. wife. What did he say about his wife? I don't know, man. Did, was that what it was? It was something about his That's Arab wife? Yes. He took yeah, a little yeah. shot at Anthony Weiner's he wife, said, who's Arab. He said something like, oh, you married an Arab. You married an Arab. That's exactly oh, what started. And, and then that guy, I saw that argument. I didn't hear that remark. What a cunt that guy is. Well, and there were some uh, news agencies that edited out uh, the beginning of the argument. And just made it look like, you know, Anthony Weiner was oh, just yelling at some Jews. Yeah. yeah, he had to put it out himself so that yeah. the whole tape was... Get the whole out. tape in context. All right, we got the tape. Yeah. Yeah, Anthony Weiner, um, he rocks for not stepping down. and makes for some excitement. Yeah. And uh, he bit into a honey... What did he bite into? They said a honey... Oh, uh, fuck, what was this? He's at a pastry shop. Uh, was it a kosher pastry? A honey shop? bun? Uh, I don't know if uh, some kind of honey bun. Sure, but they said the exact uh, thing he bit into, because because part of the problem, Anthony Weiner said this guy waited for him to bite into his his honey bun. Oh, so Anthony Weiner's mouth was kind of full, uh, so it made it a little tougher to argue with this guy. Aha. Uh -huh. So uh, do, is, this is the whole argument, not the edited version? It's the whole argument, and it also includes Anthony Weiner ordering some pastries. Aww. Okay, so we'll find out what he ordered. You're right, the media exactly didn't right. show the rest of the argument. No. They didn't show no. Anthony Weiner and him yelling. Yelling. The, the, the one I saw until uh, this morning was Anthony Weiner was pretty much on the outside. Yeah, yeah. this is before yeah. all and that. And then went, everything. okay, what? Oh, you, you, you waited for me to leave, or you waited for me right. to whatever, and then went back in the store, but I didn't know what started the argument. And this uh, this clip is much better because it, it shows you how the argument started with mm -hmm. Anthony Weiner, who's trying to become the mayor of New York City. <laughs> Sweet limit. It's like you're going to break the sweet meter. Oh, this is delicious. Is the help me? <laughs> Please, we got paying customers here. Get to work, look ladies. Get to work. Look how people have waiting. Yeah, you got a white collar welfare recipient. Exactly, a white collar welfare recipient is having honey cake. Uh, well, let me get something. How about a little honey? Yeah, honey cookies. Yeah. Felt honey cookies. All right. I don't want to cut the line, but that's the only thing I'm going to do with this head anyway. Thank you. Gentlemen, uh, uh, thank, uh, you. Uh, thank you very much. Pause. This is a very Jewy place, huh? Wow. And it's that guy, by the way, in the blue shirt. Yeah, shirts. I know it's exactly which guy it is. Yeah, the yeah, fat yeah. guy. Who, and Anthony Weiner's right. That guy's an absolute fucking cunt. Yeah. But he's standing right there. The guy, what was the guy, wait till he walks away and starts talking shit? Yeah, that's what he wanted to do. Yeah, he made his little comment as uh, Weiner was leaving. But, yeah. Uh, what a, wow, very Jewy.
Very. Where is this place? Somewhere in uh, Brooklyn. Yeah, I think it's in Brooklyn. Okay. You know, it is Rosh Hashanah, so. Yes. All right. You want my friend? There's a lot of moves right here. Yeah, right away. I know. There's the honey cookies. There's the honey cookies. Just one right on top. I wonder if I wanted those sandwiches, though. Yeah, just cut it in square. Give me that. Don't forget to take one. Chewing, ordering. I said chewing. Yeah. Yes. Well, the guy he has the argument with is ordering in front of him. Yeah. And then after the wiener's next. Hey, ladies, you doing all right today? Yes. They don't care how business is. No. They're getting paid eight, eight, eight bucks an do. hour. <laughs> I'm in business. Let me get He's eyeballing that guy. Did you see him? He gave him an eyeball right there. Wiener dead? Yep. Let me see. Go He's back. He's probably already heard. I think the guy was blurting some shit out He probably earlier. was mumbling under his breath yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He eyeballs. Look at that. Yeah. He eyeballs this fuck. Yeah. He's going to fight somebody. Oh, he's it's Anthony Weiner. It's to the point where I think a brawl. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Especially when he knows. Well, he's out of it, but when he knows he's definitely out yeah. of it. He's going to start fighting. Oh, boy, is he going to start Look fucking Look at the throwing. contempt. Oh, he's going to start treating the public the way politicians want to treat the public. Yes, exactly. <laughs> do you know how many guys have wanted to do what Anthony Weiner just didn't yell at this guy? Yes. Right. Yeah. There's nothing to lose. That's why this is great. Look at this. Look at this look he gives him. Yeah, he's oh, eyeballing man. him. He's shooting him this look. You know what? I didn't even see this version of the video. Yeah, this yeah. is really long for Wow, him. that's yeah. a fucking... Yeah, he's, he doesn't like this guy. Go ahead. Hit All right. <laughs> Making his way around the counter. I need this. And also, if you have a small iced coffee for me, it'd be terrific. Thank you. Ice cookies in the fridge over there. Okay. Oh. Will you grab one of those for me? Oh. Yeah, no, not there. Where, wherever the caffeine is you took out of the decaf, pour it into mine. You want to uh, give me your uh, phone number? I got these. Honey, <laughs> I'll text you. There's chocolate dipped honey cookies with honey in the middle. All right with the honey. They got a bit of honey in them. They're a bit sweet. But this is what you do. You eat sweets for the, for the New Year. Okay. That's all I got. Yes, what do I owe you? Well, how did you know I wanted cheese Danish? Oh, let me just have one of those just while I walk, since this is wrapped up. He does seem like an insufferable prick, though. Anthony Weiner, yeah. 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 Pause, yeah. yeah. He, he <laughs> yeah. just comes off as like, even the way he's just talking to these ladies that are behind the counter, like it was like, come on, ladies, there's customers waiting. Get to work, ladies. He, he's full of himself. And he's like, all right, I'll give that to you. Give me that for the walk. And I, Like, there doesn't seem to be anything soft, n n nice, no. or sincere about he's this guy. He's not a very personable guy. No, no. he's a fucking... Just a, a fucking miserable man, it looks. It yeah, seems like. but he thinks he rules. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, he walks through life thinking he rules. He's really happy with himself. Yes, oh, yeah. at all yeah. times. And that arrogance was his undoing. Like, that's why he would send yes. those ridiculous body pictures from the congressional gym. Yeah. Like, you are, what a dope. But he really thought he's stunning. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's oh, like you're yeah. weaselly looking. Girls want to fuck you because you're a politician. He right. believes he's a true treat. He thinks he's a gift. <laughs> yes. A he's real a treat. A, a treat. catch. Yeah. A catch. <laughs> Even if I wasn't a politician, who wouldn't like right. this? Right. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yuck. Uh. No, 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 not the big one. Not no, no, the no. I just need a little one. Give me, just give me a little one. Just, just a notch while I walk. Notch. Because I have to keep my hands free. How are you doing, my For friend? For brawling. Very nice to see you, my friend. What, what's the question? No, we are trying to discuss what he's doing. If you get a little discount bonus. I don't know, I mean... He's the wise. So how much is going to be I think he's digging on that chick in the middle. Can he get a little bit discount? I want bust out retail. I want. I don't want anything special. I want anything special. Pause. Any discount, give it to a friend. Please, give there's it. three girls looking at him right now. Yeah. I think at least two would, would have sex with him. Yeah. yeah. You think? Yeah. Look at how they're looking at him. The one yeah. in the middle, Google yeah. eye. They're all like, oh my God. That's the guy. That's the guy. It's the guy with the dick. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's him. He's the guy that has that dick. Right. <laughs> and he loves using it. He loves taking pictures of it mm -hmm. and sending them. You can eat my honeydew cake anytime. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> oh my god! Look at these ladies. Yeah, they're dripping. Sexy pastry talk. Ah <laughs> right. uh, yes. You want to nosh on my cheese danish? Yeah. Oh, how about you nosh on this? I need my hands free. <laughs> right. When I'm noshing. That's right. To text and finger. Yes. You know, yes. Tug. Text to reach around. <laughs> oh my god! They're looking at him like fuck. They would definitely go there. And then I guess he is a again. treat. Oh, he is. <laughs> and then that fat friggin' Jewish guy down the counter is just disgusted he's, that no one's looking at him. I give the guy credit. He's yeah. trying to be cool, and he just finally couldn't help himself. Because, you think that's what it is? Maybe yes, just because kind of, Wiener's nah, been in coward. Wiener's been showboating in this fucking pastry shop for. I mean, we've been watching this video for five minutes already. Yeah. And that guy's trying to keep it to himself, but then couldn't help it in the end. I didn't know he went after his wife first. So that was like a that. This is about more than Anthony Wiener being like a pervert. This is because this guy's a hardcore Jew, and he doesn't like that he married an Arab. Like yes. that's why this guy. That, that's why this guy's a fucking then, cunt. Well, then he brings up some of the other stuff. It, yeah. 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 Yeah, directly. Yeah. I think the same face the guy is like uh, brings up the other stuff. I don't yeah. think the guy cares about the other stuff. He cares that he fucking married an arrow. Uh -huh. Let, let's see, because uh, we're getting to that point finally. Oh boy. Ooh. He looks like he needs it. Thank you. <laughs> just just charge me with your work. Charge me the regular thing. The regular thing. Oh. Are you the boss? They keep looking to you for advice. What is it? How much? Is that really what it is? If you want me, I'll make you some $30. Whatever. Did you get my iced coffee also? Oh. No, you forgot that. Here, take it for the iced coffee. Oh, you see that? He's just like, uh, no, it's all right. You're a little busy. Like, all right, I got him with very iced coffee. Oh, God, I hate awesome. him. Wait, who? He fucking didn't give him the two bucks. Oh, he didn't tip the girls? He took the change and put it in his right pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I, t I, yeah. I tip all the time because these, these people are fucking... That's grunt work. He goes, no discount, but I'm also not tipping. No, go back. That. No, but he's... Oh. That's, yeah. It's that's two lousy did. bucks. You leave the two bucks. Didn't he... Uh, he just made them charge him for the iced coffee. Oh, did he not tip? Wow. And he didn't Watch, go back. Money. He puts the money in his pocket, and, and he's a politician on top of it. Listen There's the way definitely he a tip for... jar in front, in, right next to the, uh, the register, most likely. Listen to the way he asked for the iced coffee. Oh, right. I think he's asking if they charge for it. Did you get oh, my iced coffee? Not did you get it, did you physically get oh. it, but did you, did you I... ring me up for it? Oh, okay. One of my biggest pet peeves living in New York City is watching all these people take their fucking change back at joints like this. I go to a juice store where they, you know... That's he's inappropriate. That's oh. what he <laughs> I couldn't jump on that one. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a couple of Nazis. <laughs> yeah, but at least you said it funny. He's in a juice drawer, and I was like, well, technically, it's funny you should use wordplay like that. <laughs> Fucking meandering idiot I am. <laughs> it's not a huge deal, but I go to a fresh juice pl uh, juice place, excuse me, and it's a pain in the ass. It's grunt work. They have to get all the vegetables, and, and, and it's, it's not a fun job. I and I see these it. people while I'm waiting online taking back 30 cents, 50 cents, 42 cents. When there is a tip jar right there, it's like, what, really? You can't leave the fucking change? If everyone leaves the change, they get a nice little fucking, Ooh. some nice pocket money that they uh, split up between themselves. There are some real chiselers in the fucking yeah. city, man. Yeah, I'm not talking skates. like throw a five every time you get a juice or something, but you can't even leave the fucking change. And then here's Anthony Weiner showboating in this place. There's three, uh, uh, you know, uh, fucking grunt workers behind the, 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 the counter there. And he takes his $2 back. Two dollars. After showboating, knowing all the cameras are on him. Go ahead. Watch, watch him take the money back. Mm. If you want me, I'll make you some $30. Whatever. And the change. You got my iced coffee also? You see, she's no, making the change too, right? right? It's very good. Okay, so it's going to be $10. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, ladies. Puts in his pocket. Ugh. Here we go. All right. Be well. Have a sweet year. Thank you. Look, these you guys. You're a real scumbag, Wow, very nice. Very nice. That's a charming guy right there. Married to an Arab. Oh, right there. Pause. Married to an Arab. Married, married to, to an, an Arab. Arab. Yeah. You're a real scumbag, Anthony. Married, married, to, an married Arab. to an Arab. Yeah, that guy's a fucking fat, hateable oh, cunt. He really is. Wow. That's, that's all this is about, is he doesn't like that he's married right, to an Arab. Right, right. Wow. 
that bad? Oh, man. Some people would think, right? Oh, that fucking annoys me. And he did wait till he was leaving. Yeah, you're a real scumbag, Anthony. Married to an Arab. He did it with his head down, too. Yeah. yeah. Like, he didn't do it in his face. And then he talks, and this is why I fucking hate this guy so much. Because then when Wiener's in his face, uh, which, you know, he, he uh, didn't expect to have to confront him like this. Uh -huh. The guy's yelling back at Wiener, but uh, then he's going, well, look what you did. You disrespected your wife. Like, Fuck you. You don't care about that. Yeah, yeah. You don't like that he married a fucking Arab. And that's sure. all this is about. Disrespected his wife. You don't like his wife because she's an Arab. Wow. Oh, boy. Yeah, all right, let's see what happens next. We all know, but... Very nice. In front of children. Nice. That is charming. Disgusting, you're disgusting. Charming. Disgusting. Yeah, it takes one to know one, jackass. Oh. <laughs> uh, don't lose your temper. Thank you, Anthony. What's up? What's up? What's that? You wait till I walk out. Do you say anything? That's courage. That's courage. We'll have a discussion. Come back in here. I'm not afraid of you. No, you're not, you're not afraid of you, anything. You do, you don't do, use language. You do disgusting kid. things. You have a nerve to oh, walk yeah. around in public. And, and you're, and you're and a perfect you're person? I'm not you're perfect. my judge? But I you're my judge? I what what have I taught you that? I didn't do what, what you What have I taught you that you're my judge? You're fine. You talk Thank to you. God Thank and work you. out your problems, but stay out of the public eye. No, I'm, I'm not going to stay with That's not for you to judge, my friend. Yes. I don't take my judgment from you, and you're I don't bad, judge you. You're a bad example That's for your judgment? No, that's obvious. Okay, no, that's why we have elections. That's why they have elections. And you're perfect. You're going to judge me. I'm not running for office. Yeah, yeah. I fucking hate this guy. He is a prick. Oh, God, I'm, I'm like watching this and I'm like, I would love to fucking bite his fat yeah. face. He's also saying a lot of things that people are thinking, too. So yeah. they kind of finally had it with this guy. But you know what? I don't like in public. I don't believe him. I don't believe, don't believe the, the chubby guy. No, no. because the first, you're a real scumbag married to an Arab. Yeah, that's what starts that this whole fucking thing. Right. That's what pisses him off. Yeah. Why isn't he talking about the Arab wife here now that everybody's watching? Yeah, go right. ahead. When the cat and he knows that, why isn't he fucking saying that now? Right. Oh, meanwhile they're arguing so close. You know that that fucking horrible honey bread with wiener spit is flying all over his face. <laughs> Wiener's still chewing his honey bread or whatever it is, and uh, it, you know it's got to be going all over this guy's face. A little <laughs> flicker of cheese Danish pops oh, out of yeah. his tooth, and no, I know it's cheek. honey, man. There's no cheese in the honey. I think he had some Danish. He took some cheese Danish he for the did. walk. Yeah, right, to nosh on. Yes, to nosh on. Oh, to nosh. You're right. You're right. You know who judges I'm not me? Out there in the public. You know who judges me? I'm telling you. You know who judges me? Go visit it's with your immoral. rabbi. It's Go immoral. visit with your rabbi. Shows you how much and you think know. Think about think about your wife. By the way, right? How could you take the person? By the way, close by the way, that is between me and her and my you. God, and not trust between you and betray. Her. That's not think up to you. That. It's That's obvious. not up to you. It has nothing to do. It's obvious. you're trying to judge me because you obviously believe you're superior. Think about what you're not. Not only you're not superior, you are you are not superior. You're judging me. Think about a normal relationship. Where do you get the morality to judge me? Because there's certain. Do you know who judges that me? Society has. Not you. Forget buddy. about anything else. Not you. Well, you don't get to I, judge I, me I, because you have shown no sign you're superior to me, and you are not my God. Has nothing to do with being superior. How do you get? How do you have the moral authority to judge me then? Because what you did is ask your behavior. rabbi. Ask your rabbi who has gets to judge me. To do with me? Ask my rabbi. I'm not judging you. I'm telling you what you did. Is you're calling me deviant. deviant. That's not Stay judging me. Sorry, you're sound great with Go hop that's on that judging me. behind it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't do judge me. That was funny. Yeah, Anthony Weiner did kind of. It's I guess like depends on where you are, but he did yeah, kind yeah, of. He yeah. sounded more Jewish than that. He like, sounded more Jewish. Uh, you're my judge. Yes, you're my judge. Okay, let's hear him a little. And get a job like yeah, by the way, else. by the way, uh, by the way, I fought very hard oh. for this community and delivered more than you will ever in your entire life. You never delivered anything. You know nothing. Or you know nothing. Your you ignorance has been shown for the entire My world. You, you know, think you can judge you me? You deliver for yourself. Bologna. I deliver for this community. Yeah? And you Bologna. understand. Yeah, so. I gotta tell you, 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 you don't understand. You don't understand. money. Would you take your last time? Of course it's all. That's why I'm getting work in this community. Take care, buddy. Nice talking to you. Wow. That was a good one. Mm -mm. He, he's got to have keywords that stop him from cursing. It's like oh. he's got to train himself to say baloney. Baloney when he wants instead to say of bullshit. Fuck yeah. yeah, fuck or, you. Or jackass or, yeah. or buddy. Instead of yeah. fuckwad. <laughs> yeah, hey, fuckwad. Hey, fuckwad. <laughs> Someone is uh, wondering if this is a setup. I thought that for a, a split mean? second. I don't know. Just no, to get some no. fucking. Uh, it is no. People aren't that good at acting. That guy is a fucking just a mm. weasley. Rick. Because first of all, if that guy would have, if that would have been a setup, he would have said he wouldn't have said anything about his wife being Arab. And right, he would have right, started yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. And that's if that guy had just stood there and said, "You married an Arab. I hate you for that." 
I would I wouldn't like him, but I'd respect the fact that he stuck to what was really bothering him. Yeah. This right. shit about how could you betray your relationship? Go fuck yourself. Yeah, he doesn't care about the wife. No. <laughs> Here, push play, because then he talks a little bit down the sidewalk. No. no. When I do, I don't back down. Jolie, I'm sorry. How are you? No, 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 he has every right to. This is America. But it is Arab Russia, Sean. Are you going to forgive him? Of course, of course. I don't hold it against him. How you doing, guys? <laughs> oh. That's what's creepy about him. Oh. How he could go back to normal so quickly. All he wanted was a nice little appearance at the bakery. <laughs> like, he goes out and goes, what are we doing today, guys? <laughs> well, uh, Anthony, you got the... Um, the bakery. We're gonna go there. Oh, good. I'll go right. buy some uh, sweets there. We can do that. That's a good, safe place to go. Bah, if you're a scumbag, Anthony, you're married an Arab. I love oh, it. fuck. What happened? Let's go to Nick in Ohio. Nick. Hey, man. Uh, he's sitting there bitching about being judged. He's running for public office. He, he should be able to be judged. He's being a little fucking <laughs> bitch, man. <laughs> you, you, you are going to be judged when you're running for public office. That's really true. In that way. But th I think the other guy was coming off on more of a moral issue. Well, and it's like, it's like you know, ju don't judge my morality. You know, you could judge my leadership and even, you know, you could even judge my decision making or lack thereof if I'm running for office. But you can't judge the guy's morality. Uh, That's not... It's not up to the guy at the fucking bakery. I'm surprised this, th this didn't happen sooner, though. Yeah. Because a lot of people are thinking this shit. Oh, well, sure. You know? I'm surprised no one confronted him before before now. Oy vey. Well, yeah. they have here and there a little bit, but not nothing to this extent. At least mm. he got people to stop talking about his foolishness to the West Indian Day Parade. Oh, oh did we play that yesterday? Hey! Uh, Every day it's something with Wiener. I don't think we played it yesterday. I love him. The second one? Yeah, where he's, uh, what? He was singing along or dancing along to a song that's pretty pretty graphic. A little racy. Yeah, he was dancing to a, a song about killing gay people. Oh, wow. But really? He, he didn't know it, though, right? No, of course, of course, of course not. not. Are they trying to make a big deal about that? Uh, I haven't heard anything about it. I When it first broke, it was like, whoa, and then everybody was like, whatever. There's nothing he can do now that's really going to stick on him because he's got that, you know, the texting scandal and shit. Well, he's, like, they, you, you don't pile scandals on. Like, well, on it already like destroyed him, too, though. Yeah, he's I, done. that's just it. It's done. He's just playing it out. Yeah. He doesn't have a shot. We always yeah. wonder why they don't play it out. It's interesting to watch I now that it's it. happening. Oh, love yes. It. Love yes, it. Yes, to is, see why. It's played out. And see so you know how happy Elliot Spitzer is that this is happening? <laughs> Because preview, <laughs> first of all, but no, Spitzer is seen as a guy. But Spitzer was actually doing something illegal and fucking hookers. Yes, and, and then prosecuting people for it. Well, uh, uh, yeah, as we know the facts, what Spitzer did is way worse. A little fruit, ah! little fruit fly here on you, Jimmy. There's a fly. A fruit fly has been buzzing around me. I feel like that fucking. I'm, I'm in the bakery, and that fucking fat guy is around my head, <laughs> and I can't concentrate. I just keep looking. I'm like, am I losing my mind, yes. or is there something near me? Yeah, you went cross-eyed for a second. Buzzing. But the facts, as we know it, I th Spitzer, what he did is worse, right? Much worse. Okay. I would think much worse. Yeah. yeah. But but people are looking at uh, Wayner like he's more of the degenerate. Because they're yeah. more of a degenerate. I think it's because there wasn't a picture. Of Spitzer's genitals That's true. on the news. Right. So yeah. once you see a picture of a guy's dick, right. uh, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, you just can't control yourself. You want to see one of mine? <laughs> no, it's cool. <laughs> Thanks. But you kind of believe, <laughs> just watching from the outside, you kind of believe that, you know, Spitzer, you know, felt bad. Mm. And it's kind of taking care of it a little bit. You think? And Wiener's like, he like, just, fuck you. He can't wait to figure out how to keep sexting. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. going to figure it out. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I, I, I truly believe Spitzer feels pretty bad and sorry for what he did. And I don't I just don't feel it with Wiener at all. At all. Well, it was great finding out about Wiener that he was like, well, I resigned. So, of course, I can keep sex. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and he's fucking Googling, man, right now, trying to figure out how he could do it. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's going to find a way. He's this is going to be an app just for him. He's going to find an app and go, oh, this is what I've been waiting for. The guy didn't really do anything wrong. I know. No. He didn't do anything fucking wrong. Like, maybe his, I don't know if his wife knows this or not, but maybe she just accepts the fact, like, hey, who knows what goes on in their marriage? Maybe she's okay with it. Right. Mm. 
Yeah, but in that arena, being a politician and stuff, it's a little, it's a little rough. Yeah, we but we got some hoity-toity people that you know can't accept that that type of behavior. Yeah, I just wish that we would look away. Like when something like this happens, it has nothing to do with his voting record or his ability to serve the public. I know Mm. it's fun to goof on. I love goofing on him, but he might be good for his constituency, and and now he's not going to be able to do that. I can't vote for a politician when I know what their genitals look like. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) their dicks look like. I mean, there's just something weird about that. Imagine Clinton, and you go, "Oh yeah, I know what his genitals look like." Yeah, what's his dick look (laughs) like? It's just a weird thing. How's his cock? Right. Hey, don't forget, ninety-two Clinton is the one that won a few more years. If Clinton Uh, had, I know. Yeah. If you had the smartphone. Dude, he fucking, look at all these chicks that are lined up. He fucked him. I fucked him. I sucked his dick. Oh, I yeah. ate his ass. Black ones, white ones. Clinton is very lucky. Because oh, he, he was... would have had a phone and thinking what he was doing was safe. Because yeah. let's not forget, what the whole Wiener thing started because he really did, just didn't know how Twitter worked. and oh, like, No. He had no idea. That's why he got caught. And right. Clinton would have oh. been the same way. He said he got hacked. He Remember, he got hacked, hacked and stuff. And he thought, <laughs> yes. you know, a he DM said, was safe, right? He said yeah. someone hacked him. It was, a, it was a prank. Let it go. Yeah, mm-hmm. just let's all forget about it, okay? And then, no? a couple of, a couple of, <laughs> <laughs> and then a couple of shock jocks put his dick picture out there. Oh, for the right. <laughs> yes, yes. I pissed off Barbara Walters, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, it did. I, I think story. about that every once in a while. Oh. What did she say? I, too, saw the picture and chose not to do... Okay, sure. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, I saw the picture. She was I so mad it. that we were yeah. the ones that got it out yeah. there. I was too busy trying to fuck a married senator. <laughs> Didn't she do that? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Wiener, Wiener is a degenerate. Well, let this guy say it. He's, oh, uh, yeah. Joey, wow. he's from Jersey City. Joey... What's up, buddy? Oh, yeah, hey. Good morning, man. Hey, All man. Right. Uh, you know, I just wanted to say the reason why, you know, you treat Wiener worse than Spitzer is because if you forget, you know, he's been caught twice. You know, he mm. came out the whole, you know, after the first time, it was like, oh, it was a huge mistake. I'll never yeah, that's true. Again. And then, like, and then this Sydney Leathers cunt comes out. You know, it's like, you know, I don't know. You can't vote for a guy who's lying and cheating on his wife like if he's gonna do that to his wife what's he gonna do for his constituents well i, I think uh. i think it, but he, i think he, he makes a good point because after the first one we we were moving on we he really doing, were yeah he was doing all right and, in the and he went already. away for what about a year yeah. i think it was yeah. and and then we find out that he <laughs> never learned his lesson and went right back to doing it <laughs> yeah. that's bothersome right. i think for a lot of the people He's a fucking moron. But, dude, you know, I mean, you're right that he was dumb to do it again. And, and this guy, I understand why this guy's saying that. But when you're saying because he cheats on his wife, would he cheat on his constituency? Oh, yeah, that's silly. Yeah, I'll tell you why it's silly. Because if we're that honest, dude, so many men, a lot of guys don't do it and don't cheat. But so many men do this type of stuff. And if all the guys who behaved like this were being honest and yeah. going, look, I've made that mistake. I get it. He would have a tremendous amount of vocal support if people were being honest. But people yeah. are not being honest, and that's what's bothersome. But, but he said all that, that he made a mistake, and, yeah. and then it turns out he didn't really learn his lesson. It shows that's habitual right. really, poor judgment right, right. is what it is. If he, he said really, all the right things, he yeah. did a photo shoot with his wife when she was pregnant and all that stuff, and we're all thinking, oh, wow, man, all right, the yeah. guy is moving on. He's, he's dealing with his issue, whatever it is. And uh, then it turns out he never dealt with any of it. I mean, it does show poor judgment. Right. And, and yeah, he'd get support from right. people. But the fact of the matter is, you don't want a guy that's practicing poor judgment in charge of your shit. You're... Like, you don't care if the fucking, you know, your carpenter is doing that or, you know. Right. But, well, well what that's, is it? that's the thing. That's the thing. If he's going to treat his wife like that, who, who he supposedly loves and, and is his whole life and everything... Taxpayers, he doesn't give a fuck about. He's Dude, but to, mm-hmm. fuck, you know, he's gonna do whatever the fuck he wants. To he's any of do them, whatever though? he wants with his wife, he's not gonna. He's, he's gonna do whatever he wants with the taxpayers. Let me ask you a question though. But do, they are all scumbag. I mean, right. do, like you're like, do they? Do you trust any of them? Like, no. Uh, like, no, like, like think no, about no, Ob- I, Obama. Obama's a guy who I, I actually don't think is cheating on his wife. He doesn't strike. He strikes me as a guy who's happily married. That's my impression of his marriage. Is that they're happily married, hmm. and yet his 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 base is disgusted with him. Like they thought he was going to do this. Can 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 people who loved Obama four years ago say that they trust him as much now, 
or look what any of these guys have done with their fucking trust. They're all yeah. phony, dude. They're all oh, yeah, of course. liars. This guy just did it with his dick on a cell phone. He didn't take the country into war when he promised not to. He didn't, uh, like Mark Sanford, f fly to another country. He didn't, like Larry Craig, try to suck a guy's cock in the fucking men's room and then plead guilty and then lie about it because he was embarrassed. His loss. You know, yeah, sure. I mean, you got to find a hole in the fucking wall already drilled. We all know the old tricks of the trade. But he didn't do a lot of these things. I mean, he didn't have anything to do with the Iran uh, Contra uh, that Reagan did. There's yeah. a million of these guys that live upstanding moral marriages that have fucked the country in their own way. Yeah. That's true. I don't think, good, all good points, Jimmy. I yeah. don't think you could just look at things he hasn't done. And because he hasn't done a lot of other th bad things, you, you, you kind of blow this off as not being a, a bad th and it's not a bad thing right. i understand that but it's again the the judgment issue it, it looks to me like if you're a a, a straight thinking guy and you're, you're thinking of the, the in your own best interest you know what you did you're getting a pass on it you're gonna run for office again you would think hey i better not do this again a and instead he thought I'm going to do this again. I probably won't get caught this time. I'm going to use a fake name. Um, I'm going to be fucking Carlos Danger and yeah. fucking. It just, it shows it all, poor judgment. It was dumb, yeah. It yeah. all comes down to him getting caught twice. Yeah. That's rough. It was yeah. dumb. Rough. I just don't think we should care about it. Like, that's what bothers me. It's like, wow, you guys having some marriage troubles, huh? Yeah, who gives a shit? Like, like again, Kennedy is one of the most beloved presidents, and he was humiliating oh. his wife. He was fucking around. Robert Kennedy was fucking around. These guys are American heroes. Now let's most, zip most, up, up, fly, and go to Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Most yeah. likely, those two did way worse than we Oh, were. my God, Most yeah. likely. So it's like it's been happening all the time. It's just the information is passed so differently now. And I understand how dumb he was to do it. But he, yeah. he he's he's kind of dumb for not keeping his nose clean. Yeah. You know, the public pretty much accepted that you know he got caught doing this. He did everything right in the public eye. They were ready to move on. He was doing well in the polls. Yeah, I think he yes, was leading he was. Or, or very close. He was right there. He, he had was. a shot. Yeah. And then all this came out uh, showing that he never learned his lesson. And all that shit he was telling the public was all bullshit. And we know politicians bullshit all the time. And he tried but, to blow it off like, well, I said that these things would come up because I had done them. Right. Then he was kind of it's like, no, this is what you did after. Exactly. You fucker. He he was still so, trying to fucking, you know, lie his way through it. It came off as a little wormy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he was trying to weasel out of something. I personally don't care, but I could see oh, why personally give a shit. potential voters would have a real issue with that. He'd be a yeah. hilarious mayor. Cameras <laughs> following this fucker around. I mean, I'm all in. Oh, God, I would fucking love it. Great mayor. Oh. Yeah. I wish we had a powerful fucking fan base like the old days. Maybe we could push him through. <laughs> we were able to push people through, man. That's we pushed the Big one. Brother dude through and some other reality stars over the years. We kept uh, Springer on Dancing with the Stars we for a while. That was our last big accomplishment. <laughs> he just Springer. wanted to go home. <laughs> Remember, uh, he would beg us? Yeah. <laughs> That's a true story. Don't mention it. I'm, I, my leg hurts. <laughs> Remember, he yeah. said that. <laughs> he just wanted out. We're like, nope. You got another week weekend, you pal. <laughs> <laughs> the fan base fucking pushed Springer. <laughs> oh god was that funny yeah <laughs> anthony wiener is the sanjaya of mayoral candidates <laughs> sanjaya yeah. oh god we didn't do anything Name with sanjaya i don't think no. yeah i'm trying to remember um, uh, well there's um the how long until uh until the, i guess the rest of the candidates uh kind of give way to de blasio you think it's him huh he's yeah. running away with it he's got like 43 percent Next down is Quinn with 18%. It's just... Wow. Yeah. Which we have percentage-wise? It's less than five now. Oh. It was five, and now it's like three or four. Wow, maybe. really? Yeah, he's just in the shitter. Well, he's got to find a kid with a big afro. Yeah. At the yeah. Blasio's Wiener. got his own kid. Wiener, right. what are you doing? you got to find a kid with a huge fucking afro. It's not even an adopted kid. That's his kid. Know. That's huge. That is it's huge. huge, though. You can't fucking defend against a, a, a kid with a huge no. afro. Have you seen the size of his afro? Oh. Yes. Oh, it's huge. And you know, his father said, "You <laughs> don't you dare cut, don't that, cut afro. that afro." 
until I'm elected. His afro shits on your afro. Right? Yeah. He has a Pisses great afro. It. it really yeah. is. That's what put this guy over the top. Yeah. yeah. When that commercial came out, he goes, and not just because he's my dad. Right. What? what? <laughs> I went like, what? I actually said that. What? But that's when he went flying up the poles, that commercial. Of course yeah. it is. Exposing his son with his the big, huge afro. Uh, Turns out the guy's married to a black lady. Yeah. You can't beat that. Yeah. Even now, uh, even uh, Reverend Al, I was reading a little bit of, you know, Reverend Al hasn't oh. endorsed, uh, what's his name, his pal uh, Thompson? No. He hasn't endorsed him, and Thompson's <laughs> like, what the fuck, man, we've been friends forever. And, and Reverend Al's hinting like, yeah, I kind of like this uh, de Blasio guy. <laughs> I like this de Blasio. <laughs> because the kid has the big afro. He saw the commercial. Yeah, Reverend Al yeah. goes, did he just say my dad? <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> You know, and I guess it's a big deal who Reverend Al decides uh, he wants to endorse. How well, that matters. Oh, yeah, who cares? Who, yeah, amazes like, it's me. amazing that people care. I think uh, the whole thing's a joke. I hate politics. I like goofing on it, but I fucking hate yeah. it in the end. All right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. What do you think Wiener's going to do today? Uh, Every day it's I something. I'm, I'm with he's Sam. He's on a good though. roll. At some point, fisticuffs will be thrown. Oh, yeah. He's going to fight someone. He's going to fight someone. Where Wait. does he go from here? That'd be great. He just fucking decks somebody. Yeah, where does he go from here? After like, the, If he doesn't win, he's not going to win. But where does he go from here? What, what's next? Yeah, book and lectures, probably. Cable network. Yeah, maybe I'll something a talk like show that. thing, right? Talk yeah. show. Yeah, do a little news Shock thing. jock. Shock, Shock. jockery. Yeah, right. maybe like a... Like a Donahue type talk show though yeah, it might yeah. not be a news show you might try Where, to bring like, back no the, yeah, Donahue you're or Springer you're too Downey. no thank you Anthony oh, the new Morton you're too Downey. young it's like uh, Anthony you're, we saw you you're very young when you get yelling and stuff we could put that in a show format don't give me that it's like he's yelling at the audience members that'd be the name of the show don't give me that don't, don't give me that, that. <laughs> with Anthony Wieners don't give me that <laughs> and when he says it, with an exclamation goes, point Woo! It's like, really? You think so? Don't give me that! Woo! The whole place comes he apart. Does, he'd start off going, and then he, like, he'd start off with the subject of the day, yeah. which would be, and then he claimed uh, that he didn't know that his taxes weren't paid, and he'd point and go, don't give me And the crowd yeah. would say it with they, him. They show the crowd, don't give, give me that! Oh, that's so douchey. It could, it could work. The whole crowd has to oh, chant yeah. it at the same Chanted. time as the exactly. open. You could see him blowing cigar smoke in guest faces. Oh, yeah. Yeah, step up to the loud mouth. <laughs> uh, to be fair, Joe Hoff, twenty three on the Twitter. He's a good. Uh, he's a good dude. He writes. Spitzer doesn't regret shit. He's a thousand times worse than Wiener, uh, who's a cartoonish uh, boob. Oh, Spitzer is devious. Boob. All right, well, fair enough. Well, one man's opinion. No, well, he hides it better, I guess. I don't know. I I think the the two time fuck up is the big thing. I think that guy's right. I know, but so many, even though I understand the judgment issue, and it was dumb. It's a dumb yeah. thing to do. But as a guy, if you're being honest, and we look at, not you, but like, yeah, eh, that's not like, that's not betraying the public trust. It's not my fucking business if he's doing that, because so many of them do it, and so many of them are snakes in other ways that are much worse. Well, they if, claim they you had, do it and say that you still do it. Like, I agree with you. I wish okay, we could do then, that. Then do that. Right. That's our fault as a public yeah. for for looking for judging that harshly. If we as a as a public said, I don't care about that. That's nothing to me. Yeah. How did he vote? That's what I care about. Uh -huh. Then this wouldn't be an issue, and he could go. Ah, you know, I've had some marital issues. That's between me and my wife, and it yeah. would go away. But it shows extreme weakness because in the world he lives in, he knows this is going to be a huge issue with people. And he got away with it, and he couldn't calm the fuck down just to to get into office. Yeah, this is great. He knows he knows all that. Yeah, yeah. I know. it is it is hard to defend. I mean, it is like a dumb I thing. agree with what you're saying, but he knows that this is would be a real problem if people f found out that he was continuing. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and he continued. It was dumb, and it's all the little things too. Like Elliot Spitzer was what client number nine. He's, Client number nine. Oh, he's Carlos fun. Danger. I know. That rocks. Wow. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> oh, my God. What happened? It's a war vet um, behind the counter of a convenience store. Wow. And a guy comes in to rob him and puts a gun in his face. Wow. The guy holds the gun away, uh, down, and put, I, pulls the automatic out and shoves it right in the guy's mouth. Wow. Like, yeah, you're going to be leaving. Wow. I honestly don't think the guy wanted to use that gun, the robber. 
right. wanted to use it. He didn't seem very sincere. And, and, and yeah, but the guy didn't shoot. No one shot, gun. right? No, no. no the guy pulled his gun backwards. When, when, the, when the vet behind the counter started reaching with his left hand for the guy's gun to cop, the guy pulled his gun back. And when he did, this veteran reached behind himself, pulled his gun out, and shoved it right in the guy's right mouth. His face. That's love great. That. Yeah. Oh, and then he backs out of the store. <laughs> yeah. Holy <laughs> fuck, is that a great video. That is fucking great. You guys how, smoking. How smooth is the robber, though? He takes one last toke of his fucking cigarette yeah. before he pulls his weapon. Oh, you know, wow. It's like, I win. <laughs> There's your video of the day. It's going to be played everywhere today. That's so. fucking amazing. It's like Did fucking he... yeah, Grand Theft Auto footage. <laughs> Two white guys, by the way. Yep. Yeah. Did the guy uh, make, did he make the guy leave his gun or no? He... I guess not. He just made him back out of the store. Yeah, you just want to fucking, you know, remedy the problem for yourself. Get right, out right, of there. Right. That's wow. great. Though. It's like, hey, hey, no, no. How about uh, this? <laughs> like I told the police officer, uh, if I would have actually seen the barrel of the pistol, they wouldn't be having to look for him right now. He'd already be dead. Yeah. And the policy there at the at that oh, liquor wow. store is just to give him the money. But you didn't do it that day. What would your boss say about it? Uh, my boss uh, gave me permission to carry my weapon there when I was hired. Well, there you go. He, he, they, they, knew, they knew exactly what I would do. And, you, and they're and okay with it. it. All right. Uh, John Lewis Alexander, uh, thank you, sir, for yeah, your he didn't service. See the to barrel, this country, he said, you know, you the guy pulled the gun out. Tell us your story. But he never pointed the barrel at the Well, thank the you. Clerk. Have a good day, Steve. You so well. that's why he put it in his face and didn't shoot. He said if he saw the barrel, if that barrel came up at him, he'd have just pulled his gun and fucking shot him. That would have been it. That's bye right. bye. Uh, good for that. That's but that's what that's yeah. the advantage to having a gun. It's like a legal gun owner. Yeah, Amazing. stop the guy from fucking from robbing yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty. And he could have cool. shot. By the way, if he would have just pulled his gun out and shot that guy in the, right face, in the face, he would have been uh, completely justified. Totally would have been fine. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Can we get Anthony Weiner on the phone? I don't see why not. Oh. <laughs> Do we have some honey bread, honey cakes? Got an idea. Yeah. Yeah. You'd like to talk to him? I want to offer up Sam Roberts. Why? For what? His, 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 fucking, afro? his fucking afro. I, I would say, love his I'm son. I'm thinking this could work. Your son. Anthony Weiner's long lost son. We pop a commercial on. Yeah. Maybe we should and just. We go, and we go afro to afro, man. Oh, man. Maybe we should just do the one. Big for showdown. Him. You're going to have to tease that thing up a little bit, though. Make it look fucking, like a real. Yeah, the yeah big, a real afro. Less dready. And we you got, got some. We got, got darken you up slightly. A little bit. A little bit. Tanning booth. Can we do it with lighting? I, putting on the makeup, is that's let, where it gets touchy. Let's uh, call Snooky. Let's get Snooky in. Okay. Well. Snooky that and, and tan, tan Mom. <laughs> tan Mom. <laughs> <Whoever> she <laughs> is. Right. Tan Mom. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have them consult on this, but I'm thinking yeah. Wiener could use you. Weird, orange, androgynous right. kid. Whatever. <laughs> right. yeah. Yeah. Oh. Stringy afro. <laughs> <laughs> and then you could just be oh, sitting there, wiener. not just because he's my dad. Right. <laughs> uh, wiener. Oh, that would rock. Do some Anthony Weiner shit before uh, CeeLo comes in here, please. Oh, right. He's got that ad now where he's sitting on, on the, the stoop. stoop. We were talking about that this morning. And, uh, I, and the only thing I can uh, think of is, like, how many times has he jacked off on that stoop did, looking at chicks? It's the I only swear, thing it's the only think. thing I yes. think. Yes. He just looks creepy now. I was he's, thinking the yeah. same thing. Like, oh, what a ghoul. Well, you know, he's such a pervert, right? Which is fine. I have no fucking problem with the guy being a pervert. But no. it's like Ant said a minute ago about, like, I'll rob banks before I go back to, to knock and tin. Right. It's the same thing with this guy. It's like he got a taste of that sweet, sweet po politician's lifestyle, and he can't give it up now. And it's like, dude, you've uh -huh. got to make a decision. You've got to either be a politician or you've got to stop showing your dick to people on the Internet. But, well, but you can't do both. You know what I mean? And, you know... To the credit of uh, the voters, they they moved on. They were cool. Yeah. They're like, all right, you did your shit, you did your time, you fucking apologized, did, 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 did. and then it turns out that he never learned his lesson. Mm -hmm. No, he did it again. And that's the problem people are having with this. Yeah. yeah. They gave him his second shot, and he fucked it up. Yeah, that he did so, it twice. That's the fucking issue. Uh, Lawrence O'Donnell uh, called up uh, called out Anthony Weiner, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, is it a short clip, Sam? No. But it's worth that. But let me let me okay. preface oh, this sorry. by saying Lawrence O'Donnell is a fucking piece of shit asshole. Yeah, yeah. I can't stand not that big cocksucker. Fan. Fuck him. Not He's an MSNBC fan. guy. Of course. Yeah. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. I don't ever watch MSNBC. Well, you're part of America. <laughs> no one. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, nobody does. <laughs> it's like. What about the Rachel really Maddow? It's like HBO oh. Latino. <laughs> <laughs> you hate when you see a good movie on, you turn it on, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck, man. But you still watch a little it's bit. It's got to be somewhere else. It's 
got to be on American HBO. I know. Put it on the real it's HBO. It's got to be on the real HBO, too. I, I want to watch this movie. you got to play both versions because you are turning people onto that movie. They just got to find their, their yeah. language. Yeah. It's, Here's Lawrence O'Donnell talking to Anthony Weiner, I think, last night or the night before or whatever. Yeah. I have uh, a just really just one basic question for you that I think a lot of people have wondered about for, for different reasons uh, over the course of the campaign. For me, it just comes down to this, which is, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I don't understand the question. What is wrong with me that I care so much about the issues that I fight for every day that I have my time? Yes. yes, that's what I meant. I'd be like, yeah, that's what I meant. God bless him for like just trying to move on, but you're, oh, yeah. you're not going to move on from this one. I'm sorry. No. Now, you have to go away for another year or two, and then maybe we'll give this whole thing another you, try. You can't. Oh, it's like it's like the fucking Chris Rock thing about Michael Jackson, where he's going, I'm not the fucking kid. It's like, <laughs> right. dude, it's like he did it again. That's it. That's that's yeah, the yeah, end. Yeah. You know. Like, he can't stop. There's, there's no. I mean, he could come back out. You know, sh you fool me once, shame on me, or shame on you. You fool me twice, shame on me. It's fool like me, fool me twice, she won't, won't get fooled again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> whatever. Some cliche yeah, about cheating, right. something. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, it's like, no matter what he says a year from now, you're still gonna be like, oh bullshit. You just fucking, you got pictures of your asshole on your phone. Yeah. We know you do. <laughs> it's sending them out. All right, hit play on this. No, what I mean is this. What is wrong with you that you cannot seem to imagine a life without elective office? That's ridiculous. Well, uh oh. So, no, of course I can. I, I don't know. Are, are you saying that, that because I have things in my personal life that are embarrassing, I shouldn't run for office? Okay, that's, that's no. a fair position me, to have some people. Let me have be it. clear. No, oh. I'm not. Let well, me you're be not very clear. So let's talk about that. I'm going to be very clear to you. I'm going to be very clear to you now. I have never once criticized you in any way for anything involving your texting. I think your photography is just perfectly uh, standard American oh. photography that's floating around the internet now. <laughs> I don't have any, I've never said anything about that. What I find strange about your campaign is what seems to be your absolute desperate need oh. for elective office and what seems to be your inability to live outside of it what did you do for example with your time away from elective office did you find any problem anywhere in the world that you thought i think i'd like to apply myself to that and try to help some people who I might need say, my help i did you new york city that. you yeah. just set yourself yeah. up for this running girl's for elective cunt. office i tried to again. apply myself yeah. to it <laughs> okay you're wrong but i don't know is there a question you, uh, that i can possibly me. help you out with <laughs> all right you started in That's politics right out of college as a at working here here in Washington, uh, as as an congressional aide, you then got yourself at the city uh, elected the city council. Before you were thirty, you've been uh, pursuing elective office for over twenty years now. I've been Anthony, serving the people of Brooklyn Anthony, and Queens in the does, city. Let me, Anthony, it does not seem. It does not seem to be a fully healthy pursuit. I know of there are a lot life. of people. There are a lot if of people who talk. In, look, there are a lot of people who talk about. If you take in the totality of your life, Anthony, well, do you think you've spent your time well? Yes, I think I've devoted That's almost my entire right? adult life to, to, to serving the, the, the constituents that I've represented. I've worked very hard for them. I fought very hard for the middle class and those struggling Could you pause to make for it. A second? There are a lot of while people who don't believe. Going through his fucking byline. Uh, what Lawrence O'Donnell has not said, like, if Lawrence O'Donnell got fired tomorrow, he's not going to go work at a deli. Right. He's going to fucking try to find another but, job in broadcasting. Right. That's what Anthony Weiner's doing. If, if he's looking for elected office, it's because that's what he does. No, no, no. I agree with O'Donnell. Yeah? I completely agree with O'Donnell. Why? Because, because from, the, from the brief stint I had in working in politics before I did comedy, Ooh. the one thing I realized was these guys have... Dude, it is like being a fucking rock star. Oh, I, I, the I work, believe. Yeah. yeah, the workload's minimal. The payday is fucking maximum, man. It's it's they make so much cash for doing yeah, yeah. nothing. They get pussy. Right. They do whatever the fuck they want. This fuck and and just like anything else, this guy now because of his embarrassing behavior is like, dude, it's like it's like when you see fat Vince Neal. You know what I mean? You're like, dude, give it up. Stop walking on stage with strippers on leashes. You're not 25-year-old Vince Neal anymore. Go do something else. It's embarrassing, man. Uh -huh. And he's fat Vince Neal now. And this guy is saying, dude, why can't you just walk away? You fucked it up. It's done. It's over. Mm -hmm. Just oh, good walk take. away. You I know like what I mean? Fair enough, sir. Fair enough, sir. Fair enough. Because it obviously I doesn't have a, a shot. 
Yeah, yeah. And if you're a newcomer and you don't have a shot, that's fine because you got many years ahead of you where you could build up your shit. But in his case, you're right. He blew it. That's I, what, yeah. That's you know, what I'm saying. Even yeah, if he twenty went, years yeah. into this, you you can't take a hit like this. Yeah, and that's why gotcha. when you said if he went away for a year, I'm like, dude, he could go away for six years. Well, and he did go away for that year, right. and he did well with it. People were willing to uh, oh, move on. He was doing great. But he was doing great in the polls. He was oh. leading or right there. And then all the the new shit came out, proving that you know he never stopped, and that was oh, it. The, boy. the voters are like, "Well, go away, fuck you." Yeah, and I'm not comparing what he did to to murder, obviously, but it's <laughs> like the it's like just to the parallel to to it to, to OJ or whatever. It's like OJ. It's like OJ did this fucking terrible thing, or at least allegedly did. He got away with it. Ah, uh, you're one of those allegedly guys. No, I'm saying he murdered uh -huh. two people. I, I agree with that. I'm just saying, like, even if if you want to take the liberal stance on it, you can uh -huh. say. Allegedly, whatever. There were people that said, "Okay, OJ, go away, and maybe one day we'll be ready for you again." And then the second he resurfaces, he kicks in the door of that hotel room. <laughs> I had to get like my a stuff lunatic. back. I did my you memorabilia. Need to get his stuff back. Yeah, that was my you. memorabilia. And you just come for the guy that just punched the car. I think yeah, two yeah, days yeah. ago. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, how about you behave? Twice, <laughs> two strikes, dude. It's not three strikes. It's two strikes with shit like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Two I know, I, I get your point, though. Yeah. Uh, all OJ uh -huh. had to do was keep his nose clean, and all he had to do was keep that giant nose of his clean. Oh, my God. <laughs> and, that uh, is a schnozzle. Wow, is it? He all he had to do was keep it clean, though. That's it. That's yeah. all. That's, that was your f only responsibility. Yeah. To stop fucking sex thing. Well, he tried Carlos Danger. He tried he did a try new name. Carlos Danger. Didn't quite work. And then that loudmouth whore had to fucking sell him out. Right. I, it's it, it really is a strange addiction of some kind mm -hmm. because it's like, look, I don't have anywhere remotely in the vicinity, ballpark, world, fucking universe of the money, access, or power that that guy has. Uh -huh. And yet I still, and I'm a dirty bird, and I still somehow manage to keep my fucking dirt off of Twitter and off of places that are going to get me in trouble. Exactly. And it's like it's it's like it's like an addiction, man. Like it's the fucking thrill mm. of getting. Caught. He's like a fucking bank robber. He wants to get caught. He's Especially with clues. that fucking. He doesn't want to get caught. He just d didn't well, understand how the social networking works. With that job, like like you're saying, you you keep stuff off of there and stuff. You're a fucking stand up comic. Right. It's okay. We're like dumb shock jocks, and Jimmy's a comic, and 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 on the radio and stuff. If something happened where some of his stuff or our stuff got out there, it's not that big a deal. Right. With him, though, he should know it's a career ender. Right. So why the fuck do it not only once, but again? After, that's, he, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's an yes. addiction. There's some weird, yes. like... Total there's some addiction. weird thrill of the danger. Well, I think that's why he calls himself Carlos Danger. Yes. Let's go back to the clip. He's explaining oh, right. why here. He's explaining his position. That's a noble pursuit. I disagree with him. Well, what I'd like to know is why you didn't find anything to do during your time away. I mean, look at President Bush. I'm, okay? I'm, President, I'm curious President about something, Bush. Lawrence. Lawrence, let, me, yeah, let, me, let me try to squeeze in a word here. You know, so I took some time away from Congress after 20-some-odd years of devoted to public life. I think I'm entitled to that. Okay, and what did you do? You immediately offered your services to lobby. I didn't immediately lobby. do anything. You did. You went out to I make didn't lobby money at all. as a that's, lobbyist. That's not Anthony, true. You did the classic La hack Lawrence, thing, and you know it. Oh, Lawrence, you know I didn't do it. It's not supported by the facts. It's not supported by the evidence. You're just saying something that's not true. You have a right to do Anthony, it. Anthony, you made show, a half a million dollars. dollars. You made I didn't half a million lobby dollars anybody. hustling your services. What do you mean for hustling? To, to, for go mean hustling? For government intervention. Everybody, what Lawrence, you can use however many pejorative words you want in your harangue. Lawrence. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. I just need like a hand signal when the harangue is done. You're just li putting uh, a list uh, of things uh, that are not true in front of everyone. I can tell you, I didn't lobby anyone. I took time off from public service. I came back because I had some important things that I thought I wanted to fight for that no one else in the campaign was doing it. You think public services is not a noble thing to do? I disagree with you. So I guess we're where we're at a standstill. Anthony, I think there is something wrong. I know with you just you. said that. You and just I'm said looking, that. Repeating it I'm doesn't make it any more interesting. <laughs> I'm looking at your ah, life. Is good. I'm looking yeah, at your relentless <laughs> pursuit. You are relentless about <laughs> some, about certain things in your no, life. No, that's that not you true. I actually took time off from government. I took time off from doing it. I guess you don't like you, that you I did didn't. that. You didn't. You were a lobbyist, Anthony. I was not a lobbyist. That's just that's just not true. Do you care that it's not true? I know how you made your money. Do you care that that's not true? Come on, I know the racket of. 
tax officials Lawrence, in this town. Lawrence, I know you what care you did. that what you're saying to your, why to your, didn't your, your, your why viewers didn't you is not do true? something for no money? Why didn't you do something for no money? Try to go out there and do some good. You don't why? like the way I so it. So so Could you pause the camera for a second? Why does Lawrence O'Donnell give a fuck that this guy's making a living doing anything? Like, why, why does he feel he has to do something, the volunteer work, to, to be a, a noble. Talk to any of well, the other fucking politicians. None of them. They're he, all fucking shitheads he, like this. He's looking for his moment. Yeah. He's looking right. for his moment with Anthony Weiner. It's not really working. Yes. You're, right. You're absolutely right. But I, I also think, though, that he's... They're kind of skirting the issue here. Neither of them are saying what they actually want to say. True. This dude is trying to say... Lawrence is trying to say, dude... You so, showed your dick on the internet. We forgave you. You did it again. Get the fuck get out, out of here. You're a yeah. joke. Yeah, where, 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 where's his specifics on what Anthony Weiner actually did? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. Won't when say he was that. not uh, running for office. He won't say that. Why? He's going, why, why wouldn't he? Why wouldn't he say it? I don't yeah. know. I'm, pu I'm puzzled as to why he just won't come right out and just right. say like, he's being way too vague. Peace or fucking the Peace Corps or some shit. Right. right. That's pretty much what he's telling him. It's over and here. He's, yeah, and he's basically saying, y you care so much, why don't you go do something for free to show everybody how fucking sorry you are. Right, right. That you fucked up so bad. And he won't say it. And then Wiener is not saying what he's trying to say. He's going, I'm entitled to some time off. It's like, asshole, you didn't fucking burn out. Right. You showed your balls to the fucking world uh -huh. and everybody was like, get the fuck out out of right. here Let's... so you left and neither of them are, are saying that so it becomes this like other well, weird like esoteric all right, let's go back to the uh -huh. clip and see if he uh brings up specifics it's almost over to do some good Lawrence. somewhere, anywhere in the Lawrence, world, in the let me, Bronx, let me, you anywhere, me, Lawrence, where you didn't Lawrence, make money. Chillax, buddy. Just dial it down. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so the critique of me is that I have Ew. to be in public life, but wait a minute. But when you take time off from public life, here's the checklist of things that we want you to do. I devoted that time to making some money because I had to support my family and not being in public life. And now I'm back running for mayor. Okay, yes, we've established those facts. What news are you breaking here? What I'm trying to get at, Anthony, is what drives you. Okay, and tell your in that case, ask me that question. Office, ask me that question. Of, your Lawrence, no, no, no. ask me that question, just, then. Anthony, I mean it from a psychiatric level. Dude, I don't care dude, about Dude, I don't really need political your psychiatric answers. questions. I don't what, care ask about me a question. Do an interview answers. here. Do you, an interview. You are, being, you are being driven by some kind of demons in some what strange directions. Do you want to ask me a question? Or do you have me on a harangue with a split screen? This can't be good TV uh, for does. anybody. Uh, uh, you know what? We've got about Anthony. 20 seconds left. So here's what, I, here's what, no, here's what I'd like to do. Uh, I would like you yes. to stay. Give me 10 I'd like of you them. To stay. I'd like you to stay, if you will. And we'll continue this online, and you can, and you can online, say whatever you want. Online? You get harangued online? Nobody watches the show. You, Who do you think's online? You can say whatever you want. All right, right buddy. It's, oh. been, it's, been, it's been great doing a split screen harangue with you, Lawrence. At, at some point, you ever want me to respond to you, you let me know. The question is, Anthony, what is wrong with you? That's what I want to respond okay, to. Okay, I heard the question, and I said, well, what do you mean? Because I, I desperately right, care about the issue. We'll continue it online. Than... We'll find out if Anthony Weiner sticks around. Yeah. To do this yeah, online. Anthony happen. Weiner, you'll get it. That's what <laughs> Thank I you. you wanted, Anthony. Good night, Lawrence. <laughs> I love... I love ah, Anthony awesome. Weiner, though. I love the fact that <laughs> he he's not backing shit. down. He doesn't get flustered by him. Yeah, I love not that he didn't drop out of the race. I love all of that. Chillax. That was fucking funny, Yo, man. Lawrence O'Donnell, though, comes off like a fucking... This well, he tries to go for his moments. Holier He's... than now, fucking... Hey, I... fuck you. What, who yeah, cares? He... What, what, what's it matter to you what I do when I'm off? He said yeah. nobody watches the show. He calls out Bill <laughs> yeah, O'Reilly a lot. That was I think funny. He, I think he challenged him to a fist fight. Like he, oh, Lawrence God. O'Donnell's one of those guys always trying for the big moment. Who did he challenge to a fist fight? I believe Bill O'Reilly. So it, what, I think O'Reilly would kick his ass. No what are, shit, yeah. that monster. Yeah. What are Lawrence's politics? Is he left or right? What well, do you think? He's a big lefty. Well, he's going. I mean, he's yeah, going at he, the lefty so hard. Doesn't matter. Yeah, he's yeah, going at that point, he's, he's going after morals there. Yeah. Right? yeah. The uh, he, and what's this clip? Hold, hold on, because we're running out of time. Um, Anthony Weiner, is this new or from yesterday? What is it? Saying uh, he's convinced he will be the mayor of New York. Oh yeah, that's just a real quick clip. Oh, he was boy. on uh, with NBC. He will. He's and this convinced. Just, this and how's that going to happen? Show. Aren't people convinced. voting today? Yes. In the primary? Yeah. Today's the primary. Knowing how tough it would be on you and your family, you'd still run? No one gets to go back and redo things. I'm convinced that the decision I made was the right one. I'm convinced that I'm going to be the next mayor of this city.
<laughs> convinced. <laughs> he's not lost. He doesn't know how to read polls. If he's convinced, you're not convinced. You're then, now lying. Then he does have a mental problem. And you're lying. I love that. I love that line. You nope. could say I believe I should be, yeah, but right. you can't say I'm convinced. That means everyone's gonna, you know, uh, pull, pull the lever for for him today. He's oh, fucking yeah. nuts. Hell no. And then he also Ain't just happened. goes, nobody gets to go back and redo things. Well, you did, Anthony. You did. You showed your fucking you junk it twice. Right, right. <laughs> you get to go back and redo things. You did. And you redid it again <laughs> like you did the first time. You fucked it up. <laughs>